All right, hello everyone. We are live here at Stones Gambling Hall for the Stones Championship Series final table. I'm Justin Caritas, tournament director and coordinator here at Stones. And with me today, for the first time in the commentary booth, we'd like to welcome Valerie Cross. Hey guys! Yay, Valerie's in the booth. Uh, Valerie has a special connection to this tournament today because she was just this close <laughs> to being at this table. So close, out of 336 placing 10th. Still very impressive. I'm the um, bubble girl. The bubble girl, the, the girl in the giant bubble. Is that what, what, that, we'll just call you that for the rest of the time that we're in here. That's right, super safe. So uh, we have a great lineup, a lot of Sacramento favorites, a lot of people that you really see at a lot of final tables locally. We oh, really yeah. have an all-star lineup it's, at this final it's table. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, if uh, once we are able to pan over the table, you'll see in seat one, we have Ryan G, second in chips with a slightly over one million in chips to start. Uh, Wa is in seat number two. 221,000. We have the infamous Jason McRoberts, also known as J Mac in seat three with just a touch over a half million. Cobra, the infamous Cobra. We can we cannot, no. All oh, right. <laughs> Cobra's in uh, seat four, 312,000. Anthony N with just over a quarter million, close to 600,000 in seat six. That's Chang, Dan Stir, 377,000. The infamous one and only Chris Hinchcliffe, seat number eight, 563,000. And last but most certainly not least, our chip leader, Azan, with 1.1 million. Uh, 44,000 up top. And uh, we are just now starting to see the first couple of hands. They had a few minutes left at the 5,000, 10,000 level. Yeah, it looks like Azan raised here in the hijack uh, to 23,000 and Cobra defended. Oh, and Wah? Yeah, Wah's uh, in there. On the button. Absolutely. All right, we're just touching up some audio technical difficulties and then we're going to jump into the action here. If you see a random hand reaching across the screen, don't worry. It's nothing dirty. It's just someone working with the biz. Oh, there we go. We got a little audio coming. I heard something happen there. Awesome. I think so. Say something. <laughs> something happened there. All right. Yeah, Zon takes it down with a continuation bet. Jack, Jack, four, flop. As pretty, if those Zon needed to catch more <laughs> chips here. Pretty I mean, safe flop. Um, it's comes it's right really hard to defend against Zon right now. I mean, he is, uh, yeah, super, super big stack. Um, and also just has a lot of run good, so it's pretty hard to defend. Is it true um, that it's better to be lucky than it is to be good? <laughs> is that true? Uh, I mean, Usually. Good goes a long way, but yeah. lucky will get you there when you don't it know It depends, yeah. Short term, yeah. definitely luck, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, new hand coming out. Still playing 5,000, 10,000 with a 1,000 ante. Now, this is out of a total field of 336 players. A $200,000 guarantee. These players have a nice little bonus coming into this tournament. The guarantee was missed by a little over 33000 So a lot of extra money in the prize pool. A uh, lot of positive equity Did I get in this any tournament. of that? I think you got some of it, didn't you? There had to be a little bit. I think say, everyone uh, got a little bit. Well, 12.5% of the prize pool is overlay. So yeah, about 12 that's and a half percent of your payout. Pretty, pretty good deal. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's catch up to the action here. We got Cobra, Anthony, Ryan G, and J Mac in a hand. I like J Mac's hand with those pocket eights. Oh yeah. Twenty-three thousand so for him to call. Ryan pumps it up with Jack ten. Yeah, in the hijack. So I think he's just trying to steal blinds. Fifty-five. Jason on the button. Well, Jason raises oh, it. Oh, he raises it. Back to Ryan. Now, do you call here, Valerie? Um, I mean, he has the chips to call. And against Jason, you know, well, you might want to. Well, he looks like he's coming along <laughs> for the ride here. Let's see what we get on the flop. Now, this is uh, pretty much 50-50. We're seeing the, the percentages up there. 41 uh, just changed wow. to 71 with that monster <laughs> flop. But Jason, flop. Jason not completely uh, out of it yet. He's yeah, got an open-ended open drop. Uh, I can't imagine him going away on the flop to check-check. 
Oh, look at that turn card. Got there. Oh, what a way to start. Jason might be in for a quick little double up here. Got there. Uh, Ryan's saying, you know, I don't think I'm playing against an eight. Yeah. And he tosses 35,000 in. Pretty hard to put him on an eight. I mean, he basically has to have exactly eight eight. Um, maybe ace eight suited or something from time to time. But very hard to put him on an eight here. All right. Looks maybe like king king. Just a call. And there we go, that is a brick for Ryan. Jason has the check mark, and now it's just seen uh, how, how can Ryan get away from this? We're golden with the sound, thank you. All right, now we're good. It's a little loud. I kind of expected uh, Ryan to go for a check call here, but... Uh, he just goes ahead and leads the river, and Jason will just flat. Okay, so playing it a little safe to yep, start off. Yep. There is a lot of money here, $44,000 up top. That's, uh, yes. that's the new model Tesla that's coming out right there. Pay for it. Yeah, boom. Just slap it down on the table. <laughs> Give me one Tesla with all the upgrades, please. <laughs> just playing for Tesla, no big deal. No big deal, guys. Awesome, so you got the chip counts up on the screen there. See, this is quite the final table. We do have the plaques in play in the deeper tournaments here at Stones. Our 25,000 value chips are actually those giant bricks that you see on the table. Uh, very European of us, huh? Yeah, very it was European very cool. That was, uh, I feel like you're playing in the Monte Carlo or yeah, something. Yeah, I, I got to check that off my bucket list, so. <laughs> play with plaques? <laughs> yeah. Nice. You get to feel like you're in a James Bond it didn't movie last or that something. Long. <laughs> That's okay. All you need is a moment of it. I, I spew with, uh, with extra large tiles. <laughs> you just felt so powerful. Yeah, like too much. All right, we got a new hand coming out. Let's see what's happening here. Chris, looks like Chris opened for 26,000. Under the gun plus one. <laughs> All right, just down to Anthony. Looks like Anthony made the call. He's right there. And King Nine for the win <laughs> at the moment. But it's poker, so anything yeah. can happen. Anthony in really good yeah, shape here, 91% hitting his King Nine. Chris, you know, it's a board. I think that he's looking at it, saying that could have easily missed one opponent. So why not fire at it here? See what happens. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Anthony's stack is a little more fragile than Chris's. Looks like he's going to play it safe, just call. Queen comes off on the turn. The only things that will really help out for Chris here, he hits an ace or a jack for the straight. But right now, not in great shape. Yeah, I think he checks back here a lot uh, when Anthony checks. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why not just? <laughs> it's only fifty-three. That's about 000. half the pot. I mean, Anthony's yeah, gonna come double, along. Double He's barrel's gonna work a lot, a lot of the time. Look like a value bet there. Yeah. Anthony doesn't believe it though. I mean, he still gets four thousand dollars if he's wrong, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I mean, the defend and the small blind, king nine, pretty standard. Um, very hard for him to uh, call third barrel, but we'll see if Chris can pull it off. Oh, it looks like he's thinking about sticking some chips <laughs> in there, huh? <laughs> Oh, he's gonna, gonna just open up. See, King Nine is good. Two pairs is gonna take that one down, and Anthony gets a few extra fighting chips here. Wow, that was a, that was a huge hand for Anthony. He started off yeah. uh, pretty short. Yeah, <coughs> so, see, he started the final table with uh, just over a quarter million. He is, uh, or was, our second shortest stack, and uh, now he's got a few more chips to do battle with here. At, Stones Championship Series final table. This is the final nine for our main event. 
Yeah, we got a new hand coming. You can see Azan there in seat nine. He is wearing some Deej gear. I just wanted to point that out because on March 25th, Friday, we have Deej Day here at Stones Gambling Hall. It's called A Day on the Felt. Deej Poker will be here with their gear. It's going to be awesome. We have a white chip bounty tournament at noon. We're giving away cash throughout the day, doubling our Omaha and Hold'em jackpots. Mark it on your awesome. calendar. March 25th, you're going to be here. There'll be a PLO game, so I know you'll be here. I will try. All right, next hand coming out. Wall waiting for a spot, I think, there in C2. Yeah. For he's sure. got to do a quick double up to get competitive here. Yeah, he too many battle chips. I mean, he's not in dire straits yet, but he has to pick his spots very carefully. Looks like a Zon race at 26,000. Takes it down. Easy, easy pop for a Zon. No one wants to oh, yeah. mess with him. Come on. Easy, easy game. When I grow up, nice. I want to be a Zon. <laughs> if it's that easy to play poker, just I, my inspiration is to be a Zon at some point in my life. I, uh, I, I went and tried to be a professional poker player for a long period, and uh, I ended up just deciding I was going to be a tournament director. It was much more profitable than my poker play. I think you already know if I'm playing at the table. Get, get in that table. Get if you all the game. money on the table. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I like to call refer to Azan as a uh, damn beautiful luck box. I'm sure he doesn't mind that nickname at all. <laughs> I don't say it to him though. <laughs> Just find his back. Okay, we won't tell anybody. And everyone watching and everyone in the chat room, this is our secret, okay? Don't tell anyone what Val calls is on. It's a secret. Don't tell him. Oh. oh. Well, oh, we there we go. Spot. We found a spot. What's he got? Two J's. Just two J's? That's all. J's my favorite letter. Two so. J balls. <laughs> all right, let's see. We got Anthony. He oh, might come along with eights, wow. and that would be a great scenario for Wa if he does. Is Anthony, uh, is he going to be able to get away from this here? He's now at 362,000. That's a lot of chips. It would um, cut him in half again, right? I, I think he also knows that Wa is playing very snug. I mean, I would be pretty tempted to fold this. He looks like he's contemplating it, though. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, think about it. I like in these spots to watch the players and look at their body language and their expression and see if I can guess what they're thinking, what they're gonna do. Yeah. And in this spot, he this doesn't look like a Hollywood to me. This looks no. like he might be thinking Wa could be shopping with anything here, and he might have an opportunity to flip for a double up. That's true. I mean, he's definitely thinking about it. Um, I mean, Wa Wa did this uh, under the gun plus two with uh, 18 big blinds, I mean, it's pretty strong. It has to look very strong. You know, just but picking up the, the blinds and the annies here is worth it. I mean, we're yeah. at, um, are we already up to the next level? Six and 12,000 with the 2,000 ante. I mean, you're instantly picking up yeah. a, a nice little chunk of chips oh, right there. Oh, for sure. Um, he's going for it. It, it does like look it. like it. Yeah, it does look he like he's stacking to. them up. He doesn't want to. He wants to. He doesn't want to. Pocket eights, you know, it, uh, it looks good. It looks I mean, good when you look at it. <laughs> oh, he's in there. Okay. So now it's uh, it's just about can he get lucky? Let's see if anyone else here wants to come along. Yeah, I mean basically they'll just flip stacks if uh, if Wall wins this. Am I right? I think the percentages up there are wrong because I think it's something like 80 20, and maybe yeah, we'll get an update here more briefly. Than 2%, but I'd say. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> unless maybe the, uh, oh, one of the eights. Unless they count the folded eights or something. There might be folded eights. I don't remember. It does count the muck, so that's a possibility the eights are gone, and pocket eights might be playing for a straight here. We'll see. Right, well, so no far, help. was no, in great shape. No help for He's not me. celebrating yet, though. He's so mad, Anthony. Oh, he already has the check mark. See, they don't know on the table that the eights are out of play, uh, yeah. but we can see it here. Okay. There's no eights, there's no straight possibility. That's it. Oh, okay. bummer yeah. for Anthony. So we got a little, uh, some chips <laughs> shifting around here. Yeah, I think they, they basically just flip the, just uh, switch their stack sizes, basically. Yeah, I think it looks like so, that. Change the dynamic a little bit. I don't know. I, I think if Anthony uh, thinks about it long enough, he might might be able to find a fold there. Um, I just think Wah is pretty tight, and um, I don't know how much he played with them, but I just feel like uh, it's probably going to be a flip at best there for Anthony. So, um, I'm looking at the chat room. We have uh, quite a bit of people hanging out in here. 
to What's let you guys, guys know we are we're watching you. <laughs> we'll definitely interact with you guys. So if you have any questions or comments for us here in the booth, uh, feel free to chime in. We are watching the chat room. Love having you guys here. It's awesome. There are some questions that you can ask to Nightbot. Nightbot is our automated answering system. And right now you can see someone just asked about the prize pool. It is scrolling on your screen, but you can also check on that in the chat room too. If you wanna be involved in the chat, just log in, um, create an account, it's free. And you can uh, join us and join the conversation. Right, we might be getting some action here. Uh, Pocket Kings for Shane. All right. Let's do it. I have a feeling Azan's gonna snap him off with that Queen Six. What do you say? Prop bet uh, he comes know, along. You know, no? <laughs> if he can get in there, he definitely will. So Cobra raised to twenty-five thousand. Uh, okay, Ace so it's on now. Okay. Just debating. I have to say, I think like every time I've had race. a hand like pocket kings or pocket queens, uh -huh. it's ace three suited that snaps me off. Oh yeah. You notice that? Insta, insta ace for sure. <laughs> okay, so Chang raises it up to 70,000. That's a good raise there. I like that raise. I don't know if Cobra can call there. Yeah, it's a pretty small raise. Um, Cobra has great intuition though. Yeah. And with his stack size, yeah, I, I didn't yeah. think that he could come along for that. He's got a suited ace, he's thinking, you know, mix it up a little, but then when that race comes in, it's, he knows yeah. something's serious. Ace three, a little, a little too weak to uh, continue out of position. For there. a good player, I would play it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we would play it, but... You can always hit your ace, you can always hit your ace. <laughs> The problem is hitting your ace and not knowing if you're good. That's, therein lies the problem. That's true. <laughs> you and your logic. Yeah. Every now and then. <laughs> so we are guaranteed a three out, three total hours of play. Uh, three outer? Th and, and I'm sure we'll see some three yeah, outers. Be a three, out. uh, three hours of play at this final table before a chop is allowed. So we definitely will see quite a bit of play. Uh, get a nice, nice broadcast here for the game. Uh, Make the players actually mix it up a little. They they got to try and move up in the rankings. They can't just chop the money up, even though there is a considerable like amount of money in there. I personally, I like to see these events played down to first place. I like to see someone be the Me champion too, and come out know? on top. Me Chops too. are cool. Yeah, you know, get the money spread around a little more. Just. You know, you never, uh, you never see like the World Series of Poker and, and they're negotiating like, a top out, three guys. Yeah, let's Come see who's out. the champion. I want to know who the champion is. <laughs> it's easy to say that though, and then you're in the position and you're like, oh, I could have ten grand like, in my pocket right now. Yeah, yeah, and you're like flipping for ten grand, and you're like. So we had a raise here with pocket fours, Ryan just calling with tens, and the flop misses on both, so the tens are out in front with 92%. Check, and it's to Jason. Do you think Ryan checks here thinking, oh, Jason's definitely gonna fire? Yeah, I mean, I think he's uh, probably in check call mode. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing he flatted because he's out of position against Jason. I mean, Jason's pretty aggressive, so. He doesn't want to get pushed off call his tens pre-flop for sure. Right. Yeah, so, so he just, just makes a call. A call here. Okay. Another jack peels off on the turn. Ryan's still way out in the lead, but I, mean, I don't know if he could be too happy about that. He could have been called by Ace Jack here or King Jack. Yeah, very true. Um, but the the jack makes it less likely that that Jason has a jack in his hand. So I can't see him folding the turn, but we'll see. Well, we got the river card out now. Jason does. Oh. Check mark for Ryan, so. So I went check check there. I Looks mean, like Ryan's got a bet out thirty five thousand. Uh, he's just trying to. Can I get anything out of Jason? I think he knows he's good at this point. Clubs did yeah. hit though. There's a flush possibility. Yeah, I mean, I think that's like a value bet mixed with a, a blocker bet. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want to take the river it down. bet. This one thing about Jason is he has excellent <laughs> intuition as a poker player, and I think, I don't know this for sure, I'm just kind of musing here, but just from the little bit that I've been able to watch Jason play when I'm out on the floor running these events, I think that he gets a lot of his gameplay off of watching people's body language, watching how people change when they're in a hand and making reads. I think he has a really strong body language and read game. Yeah, he, he does have really good intuition. Um, He's pretty hilarious. I mean, uh, he has no filter. He just spews out like his his feelings and his analysis every hand. Um, In a sense, I like that. And, you know? and there's a good mix of like 
real tilt and fake tilt. And right. It's just amazing. I love it. He's a very good player. You oh, you see him at a lot of final tables. He's very solid. Uh, our Stones Classic six months ago, he was actually at the final table and chopped it three ways. So he <laughs> nice, is no nice. stranger to Stones final yeah. tables. Yeah, he's ready to rumble. So it looks like Anthony went all in here. A6. With A6. Kicking a spot. Uh, he's in good shape. Wow. Under the gun plus two. Him. He doesn't know it yet, but, but they're uh, it's 10 7 only now. Yeah, I mean, and a it was a good spot. Yeah. Yeah. He may not have known it was a good spot, <laughs> but it was definitely a good spot. Yeah. I, I feel like he could wait, um, wait for something a little better than that, but I mean, like you said, there's so much in the middle, you know, it's hard yeah. to, to just pass it up and blind off. Definitely. Um, interesting enough. Anthony told me he just started playing uh, tournament poker in August. Wow. So, yeah. So I would say he's having pretty good results. So he's running it up. Did he happen to say, like, what he did as far as, like, learning? Was there a strategy? Did he read a book, online training? Because I know there's, like, websites, like, videos you can watch. Yeah, there's Crush totally. Life Poker. Um, Jason Somerville has something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, he's a running up warrior, so I know he watches oh, I see. Uh, yeah, Jason like Somerville. Up here, so. um, yeah, on Twitch. So I don't know what else he has done, but uh, yeah. Whatever he's doing, sure it seems to be working. <laughs> Guaranteed at least ninth place out of 336. That's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty decent. All right, new hand coming out here. Shaping up to be a pretty exciting final table here. Very, very solid final table. Um, there's really not a weak player here. I mean, usually when they talk about if you don't know who the fish at the table is, it's you, right? <laughs> but there, that's not true. Everyone's looking like who's the fish at the table. I guess that happened when we were ten-handed. <laughs> it turns out it was me. <laughs> what did you go in with? No, uh, I had nine big blinds left. I was in the big blind, and I'm just sitting there like, maybe I could just wait. You know, I don't want to be the bubble, the uh, TV bubble. Right. And I'm in the big blind. Uh, Jason opens early middle position. I look down at two eights and all in. I'm like, ah. Oh, I man. think I would have too. Couldn't, though. I couldn't stop myself. That probably doesn't make you feel any better. <laughs> I probably would have done the same I, thing. I think it was fine. I just, <laughs> you know. All right, everybody, the Jason had ace queen. All right, there's your chip counts up on the screen. We try our best to keep you updated throughout the tournament here. So Zon's still up top. Uh, Ryan's still second. Now Ryan's the, uh, Ryan and Wa are the only ones I, I didn't really play with much yesterday. Um, you were at the other table before. Yeah, everyone else I played with a decent amount. Um, but Ryan seems solid. Uh, like I said, I didn't really get to see him do much. But he had uh, a lot of determination in his eyes, so got to root for him. Uh, so we're going to see some fireworks here, maybe. Oh, yeah. Zahn has eights in the hijack. Yeah, you know J-Mac's going to, he's going to get a little crazy with Ace King. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what he does here. Um, wouldn't be surprised at flatting or raising here. Just so you know, uh, Wadbury in the chat room just called you out as a local legend. <laughs> Damn, you're a legend. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I would say infamous <laughs> would be more legit. Yeah. The infamous Something Valerie like Cross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see, 20,000 to call, and it looks like Jason came along, or did he raise it up there? 26 to go. He raised it. He's going to pop it up. 67,000 with Ace King. I mean, it's pretty gutsy. Like, Azan, Azan checks his cards again. Azan is the chip leader. He's in position. Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of players at the table just flat here and just kind of see a flop and go from there. What would you do in this situation? Would you just flat? You know, with, with uh, Jason's stack against Azan, I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Jason's, Jason's got I would some chips. I mean, that's half is on stack. The problem is, is that Hazan, um, is probably going to continue, you know? And 
Well, the flop will tell all. Let's see the strength of the hands after this comes out. Boom, Jason hits top Boom. two on a pretty sweet board, not too dangerous. Look box against look box. <laughs> hey, uh, a Zong can't be lucky every single hand. Someone else has to get lucky once in a while. Well, they're about 50-50 going into this hand, yeah. and now Jason's way out in the lead, and he's going to stick some chips in there and see how Zong feels. I don't think a Zong can call much here. Yeah, I don't see a Zong continuing here. Jason probably hoping is on sent on like ace queen, ace jack, something like that. Uh, with pocket aces, it's, yeah, it's really hard for him to get paid. Yeah. So what do you want to show? Yeah, show, show, five. Five. show five. Show five. <laughs> show of love. Show of love. <laughs> 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 um, I will That's say that you know when we were ten handed at this table, it felt very much like a cash game. I can see they get a lot of cash game players in here. Very loose. Everyone's you know shooting shit. I won't watch it either. <laughs> Just like yeah, it's in the pit, how you do it? Yeah. I'm like this, yeah, I'll still watch it. Yeah, I'm like 90, yeah, I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, I, mean, I know what everything that happened. I got knocked out by We got uh, uh, Ch Chang is going full poker pro mode there in seat six. He's got the glasses on. He's got the hoodie on. Before I even said this, I had to look at the sheet and make sure that that was who was supposed to be in that seat. That could be anybody. Oh my gosh, maybe he uh, got someone to sit in for him. Oh, let's hope not. <laughs> I have to go out there and get to work. <laughs> no, I'm All pretty sure that's still him. Shane's not going to let anyone play his seat. He knows what he's doing there. Just a reminder for everyone in the chat room, I saw a couple questions there. You are listening to us live. You're seeing the game on between a 20 and 30 minute delay. In the tournaments, we do not allow the electronic devices at the table. They can listen to music if they want, but they need to step away to access their device to change a song unless they have like an iWatch or a Moto or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> So one of the last hands uh, before they got down to nine yesterday, uh, I wouldn't know where I'm Chang was actually getting pretty short, had about 25 big lines maybe. Uh, Jason opened early position. Uh, Chang had with two kings and Chang made the call. I have that. I don't want to get stabbed by pocket And I got a full double through Jason. I don't know if I'm laying um, it down. I'm probably not laying so, it down. Yeah. I, that's I, I how he that's ended how up he here with the stack that he had. Up, uh, yeah. You know, started today with close okay. to 60 big blinds. So right that was a very nice. We only played a couple of rounds. Ten handed. So. You know, I have to say this, and I I probably shouldn't, but I I, I was really rooting for you to be in the final nine. I I thought that you would have been a great addition to the table, and also I I love to have a female player in the mix. I think yeah. it just changes the entire dynamic of it. And especially one, uh, I'm not gonna go with legendary, but <laughs> definitely talented. You definitely have a talented game, and I think very much well respected in the poker community. So you. you had a great run though. You, you did very good. Yeah. So. I really wanted to be at the table. Yeah, it would've been sweet. Well, no, I, would, I would've been here doing commentary by myself. You would've won that, <laughs> wouldn't you? So no. <laughs> so we got some big hands here. Yeah, it's shaping up, it could be something huge. Uh, Lots of big hands. A Zong with Ace 10 suited, as long as the action's not too rough in front of him, he's going to be a long He's already raised it to 26,000. Yeah, so Ryan flats with eights. J Mac. J Mac. Pocket jacks for J Mac. Man. <laughs> And Anthony with sevens. The price is right, I think, for Anthony to come in. Raise the 85,000. But Jason, yeah, Jason's, Jason's got raising. Call. Oh, Jason's <laughs> raising it up. Yeah, I mean, Jack's Whoa. in position here. Also, Maybe after the so. flat. Good fold by Anthony with those sevens. Uh, yeah, I mean, Jason raised it up to 85,000. Um, especially after Ryan flat calls the Zon's raise. You know, he thinks... Jacks uh, should be pretty far ahead here. I think this is the really dangerous thing about a player like Jason, who is notorious for having a lot of action when he does get these big hands, yeah. and he's not believed that he's going to get paid off huge on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But he also may get trapped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but that's okay. you know, Jason, he. I mean, he very well could, but Jason's very good. I've seen it. Oh, boy, yeah. He's like Neo from The Matrix. He can dodge bullets. You yeah. know. <laughs> I've seen him do it before. It's pretty <laughs> impressive. Yeah. So Jason's re-raise did take down this pot. Yeah, I'm sure Ryan hated folding 
I just showed you that. Clearly, you this one, not the other one. Yeah, someone asked said. what the payouts Good. were over here, and, and someone goes, right? Well, first place, 20000 <laughs> after taxes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything over 5000 plus the buy in, you do have to report as taxes, but I think it's probably not going to be 24000 Probably less than uh, 50%. I've never cashed enough to have to pay taxes on my winnings, so I don't know for sure, but I think it's just like normal income. Anything over 5000 plus the buy in, hey, you get a form. It's just yeah. up to you to claim it. Somewhere around 30%, I believe. <laughs> 30%? <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know. might be right. I'm just shocked. I'm yeah, shocked. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's pretty high here in California. But I heard it's pretty easy to offset it with losses. Yeah. 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 Next hand coming out. Dan is out of this one. What about Wah? Nope. Wah is still waiting for that right spot to come in. It's a Chang with the best hand here in the small blind. Ace 10 suited. Let's see if Cobra's gonna get frisky like here. Oh, every time I raise it, it's gonna be bad. I'd like to see oh. a raise here, yeah. Raise hey, Cobra's doing something. 9 and 10 suitored, come on. <laughs> Plus, he has a pretty tight image. Um, it's just chill. Gotta mix it up a little, right? Plus, he's a beast and he's kind of scary. In, he's in tough shape here, though, with this 10 copy. Well, now by one hand, now that Jack 10 gets out of there. Yeah. Playing uh, pretty dominated here, Ace 10 versus 10-9. Yeah, I mean, Basically, just playing position game here. Um, he draw, flops an inside straight draw, so he can hit an eight or a nine still to, to get ahead here. But knowing Chang, this is not a spot where he's likely to check here. Oh, he does, no, and Cobra yeah, I mean, fires. He's out of position. Um, yeah, like I said, I think Cobra's just playing position here. You know, he's going to fire one. Uh, continuation bet, try to take it down, and then probably Easy shut it down. Easy win. Shut it down, <laughs> or turn the nuts. Like that you know, was the plan. Like, I know this is this is this is very much part of what makes me not a fantastic poker player. Uh, but I just don't want to see what the next card is. Even when the hands up, show me the turn of the river. Would I have hit my? You're a rabbit hunter. Oh, totally a rabbit so hunter. Yeah, because then you can't judge whether you played right by the outcome, right? You yeah, judge right, by right. the long run game, statistically, yeah. how you would have done. But you I can just tell how, how good you're running. Right. <laughs> exactly. Should I have played that hand? I could have got lucky on the river. That's why Omaha is dangerous for me. Yeah. There's too many cards, too many draws. <laughs> <laughs> too many possibilities. <laughs> like, I gotta hit something here. I got four cards. I mean, that's the idea. <laughs> Everyone just hit something. <laughs> All right, Dan in the small blind, Chris in the big blind. We're going around the table here. Action is on Wa to call 12,000. Looks like he's stacking uh, it up. Pocket 10s are pretty sweet right there. He's not just going to call. He's going to stick in a little raise, it looks like. Oh, yeah. See if he can narrow down the field here. Little does he know that Chris is sitting there on the big blind with Ace King just and waiting you know, for him. Chris loves to put the pressure on. I, uh... I would expect him to three bet here and put some pressure on. We'll see. I am actually kind of excited just to see what Chris does here with Ace King. Yeah. He will be playing out of position if he gets called. So he's going to show his guns and then. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he does have some guns, doesn't he? I'm a little intimidated right oh, no. now. <laughs> oh, he's asking oh, yeah, he's how fishing. much does Wah have? Fishing for info. Mm -hmm. I mean, their stacks are very They're similar. Pretty close, yeah. I mean, he hasn't covered. Uh, a loss on this hand in an all-in situation would cripple Chris. He knows that. I think if it was me, and this is my good poker side coming out, I would just call, just see what happens. And it looks like Chris is going to go with my recommendation. Now, yeah. I'm glad he's listening. I mean, they, they're both uh, about 40, start this hand with, you know, near 40 big lines, so... All right, no help to Ace King. Ten still with all a in. great advantage. And did I hear all in? I did. Wa is all in, not taking any chances here. He's got a great hand for the board. Yeah, no a, over cards. It's a big shove. You don't um, want to see a turn or a river here. Right? Yeah, no. Yeah. There's so much in there already. Um, you know, he might as well just take it down. <laughs> Chris I, I just hates the fold right here, you know, but he's... See, and this is what I would be stuff. doing here. I know an ace or a king's coming on the turn. I know it. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what he's saying to him, but... Um, 
let's see. Let's turn up the table talk a little here. See if we can I'm guessing get a read on what the players he's, are saying. Uh, just trying to scare him for later. <laughs> so he. So this uh, is all about image control. So Wah right doesn't do this to him again. I don't think you can Christy scare Wah. Christy tell Wah. me later if I was right or not. <laughs> Wah's not a uh, easily scared person. <laughs> Just letting him know that he was singing about it, and he's singing about putting his tournament life on the line, you know? You know, it's really hard uh, to pick a player at this table to root for. Not only are they all really accomplished players here in the local community, yeah. but on top of that, they're all regular, they're all likable. These are all guys that we would consider to be family here at Stone. So no matter who wins here, I think it's a win for the local community. This is a great final table lineup. I can't say it enough. It's almost like they were hand-selected. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it's like a standard uh, five ten here. I could I couldn't right? make a favorite. Like, this could be a yeah. five ten game here. Just it's like normal. <laughs> <laughs> they all bring something really special to the game. So oh yeah, it's pretty awesome. Very very strong. Final table. <laughs> Once they got the fish out in ten. <laughs> all strong. <laughs> Yeah, That's right. we got some political commentary oh, going no. on in there. We're going to avoid politics today and just stick to poker, Let's though, right? keep it right? safe, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just focus on positive things, yeah. you know? Fun, what, you mean politics table. aren't positive? Come on. Not these days. <laughs> much impossible. <laughs> All right, not a ton of great hands Chris in here. Chris, with nines. nines. He's on the small line. line. Fold around to him, no? Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Um, blind versus blind here. I mean, Azan has an ace in the big blind. Yeah. He's not gonna want to give this up too easily. Oh, well, Chris just, uh, Chris just moved Oh, he just and... ships, huh? I don't think Azan can call there. Not with ace seven, no. No, no. Azan's way too good for that. Uh, that's big ship. I mean, blind versus blind, though. Just so much in there, you know, you might as well take, you, try to take it down. Do you think as a player at this table that you can go back later and watch the play and really get a lot of value from that, like learn a lot? Um, I mean, maybe just to see what someone's final table strategy is. Um, like, I'm sure people are curious about what uh, Jason McRoberts is just three betting everyone with. I'm sure. You know? We're actually uh, really fortunate we get to see that right away. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's had big hands both times, but... Uh, it's a much easier game to play when you're picking up hands and connecting with flops, that's for sure. That is wisdom. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's true. That is just the beginning of it. I have lots oh of wisdom to bring to this. I cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> Curious uh, for the chat room, guys, chime in. Tell us who your favorite player is. Tell us who you're rooting for, what you think their strengths are. Let's keep it positive, guys. We want to hear from you. Chat room, light it up. Who do you have in this game? We can't say we're going to remain unbiased. I love them all. Okay. <laughs> but I do have to say, if we have to chime in on style here, Wa, he might be the one. Going full on beanie, yeah. the tattoos beanie, showing. Tats. He's got some street cred like going a there. Graphic tea. <laughs> I like it. He's got a good color combo going. All right, Chris uh, swooping in another pot with Jack <laughs> Seven suited. I did that once. Jack Seven suited. I won a pot one time. Ooh, yeah. I've seen that win. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw it again. I've seen it win. It must be a good hand. Yeah. Yeah. I've got lots of evidence here. <laughs> Um, you see the chip stacks kind of evening out a little bit uh, with Jason coming up. Um, so yeah, the top three are, are getting closer there and Jason's closing in. Um, he also has position on the other two big stacks, so... That is uh, key. Position helping him out. counts for a lot in this game. And good cards. My second piece of wisdom. <laughs> so get good cards. Position. Be in position. Be lucky. Hit the flops. Hit flops, <laughs> yes. Easy game, guys. That's all Easy you gotta game. do. You Easy can win. <laughs> so come play the white chip bounty, because you can do all these things and just ship it. The beautiful thing about the white chip bounty that we're having at noon on March 25th, Friday, March 25th, every single player that you knock out is $100 in your pocket. Yeah, I mean, 
You knock out two people and you're free rolling. Free rolling. I love it. Yeah. Love it. Knock out four people and then you can bust out buy in and still be free rolling. I wish this tournament was a bounty. You do? Like a $500 bounty, I'd be, I'd be good to go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and for what? <laughs> King Queen in here twice. I'd like to see them both play. Uh, hearts copy for Ryan and Wad. I don't see Wad coming along here though. He is in the big blind. What's the price now? Thirty thousand. It's been pumped up a little. Was not great on chips, but he's not horrible. But he's gonna do the smart thing there and lay yeah, it down. Yeah, it's pretty weak. Uh, Usually three go, hearts come out here though. Yeah. Yeah. But to go, uh, you know, out of position against Zan and Dan. <laughs> I mean, I love it, but. Five, six, seven, eight. Wawa well, well, flopped open well, ended. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then what does he do? Like, check. Hey, he shops right here. He oh. takes it down. Oh, Two king okay, queens. Okay. Easy game. Easy game. Got 31,000. True story. <laughs> um, so here, you know, Zan's got position, and uh, position's going to win it. Like, you know, you see they have the exact same hand. All of it. But it's on that button. <laughs> Awesome, there's your chip counts again, and we still have, looks like Azan still holding down the lead. Yeah, Azan, Ryan, and Jason are uh, pretty far ahead here. Now let's talk about um, your chip counts at the final table. Your equity in the game, like how it translates to, I guess statistically, how you're going to finish in the tournament. Is it... Is it really that strong? Is there an opportunity for those small stacks to come up? Like, how does it relate percentage-wise to your ability to win? Oh man, well, you know, it's a lot easier to play and accumulate more chips when you have a lot of chips. Right. Uh, so for sure, it, it uh, increases their chances. Does, does the big stack have basically the obligation to be putting a lot of pressure, especially on the smaller stacks? Is that a good strategy to have? Or should they be yeah. playing conservative, waiting for small stacks to knock each other out? Like, what, what approach would you take playing yeah. on a big stack versus playing on a small stack? I mean, I, I think they, they have to put pressure on the, um, especially the, the middle stacks. Um, because the middle stacks, you know, they, they can't just... Uh, you know, come back with a shove, right? Uh, like three bet shove too easily. So I think putting pressure on the middle stacks. Uh, the problem here, especially for Azan, is that he has Ryan to his left <laughs> and Jason. Yeah, that back. actually is a tough spot, even so, being the chip leader, yeah, to I mean, be out of position against this two. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not only large stacks, but very intuitive players. Yeah, that changes it so much. I mean, uh, Jason's really in the best seat here. Um, they got a great seed draw for yeah, sure. Yeah, just like the having yeah. kind of medium stacks to his left, medium and small stacks. Uh, he can put pressure on and uh, people can't fight back too much. Plus he has position on the big stacks. So this last hand, Anthony shoved all in uh, with a small pocket pair. Just took it down pre-flop. Again, easy yeah, game. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Easy game. There you go, Anthony. A little healing. <laughs> a little healing. It's not over yet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but as far as how that translates into like a percentage, right now, uh, still nine-handed, right? Yes. Um, everyone's so competent. I mean, right. in a 30, different situation, I would say, yeah, Zahn's like, you know, 40%. You but think it's just, really just anyone's just game can't at this say point? It. Yeah. yeah, I mean, right now, I mean, almost everyone, one double up in there, right there, near the chip lead. So, definitely anyone's game. Some of these guys on this final table, I've been watching them play poker for almost a decade. So for me, this is really cool to kind of see them all nice. come together and be at this really cool. huge final table. Yeah. A great prize pool, two hundred thousand dollars to play for. Forty-five people cash in this tournament. So yesterday was day two. We paid out all the way up to uh, tenth place, and and here we are for the final <laughs> nine, playing for the big money, forty-four thousand yeah. up top. But Huge. even second or third place in this tournament is uh, nothing to scoff at. Twenty-seven thousand for second. We're in the almost twenty thousand for third place. Uh, I mean, that's a it's a Tesla, it's an Acura, and it's a Honda Civic. So. <laughs> I've been thinking about buying a new car, so that's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> yeah, Civic. Now that I busted, now that I busted ten. <laughs> <laughs> Can tenth get you I'm a always, Civic? I'm always. Yeah, no. a ten-year-old one. Yeah, yeah. Ninth. <laughs> 1995 Civic, guys. Uh, that's okay, as long as it has power windows and steering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Let's see, no one has as much of anything here. Dan, <laughs> Dan gonna raise it up, 26,000. Jack uh, Under seated. the gun plus one? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. Dan. Well, we haven't seen much from Dan, so yeah, to the players at the table, I think this has to look yeah. like something. Yeah, and he um, scoops it. He's got to come alive at some point. Dan has a lot of peers. Um, yeah, when I was I was chip leader in this tournament with like 26 players, and uh, spewed a bunch of chips to Dan. And oh, that was nice of you. Yeah, I'm so nice. Well, he, maybe if he wins, he, he can take you out for a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hardly any um, like that. <laughs> Yeah, he, and then he showed me 4-6 um, offsuit, which he opened in middle position, so, oh, sorry. Okay, so, to give away. I don't know if this is legit or not, but this, we got someone named <laughs> Phil Helmuth commenting in the chat box for our final table here. Oh, dang. Is that the real Phil How Helmuth? many L's? Because there's a fake one with three L's. Uh, <laughs> two, two L's in the Phil, oh. and one L in Helmuth. Oh, what's he saying? He says, Jimmy, was that you doing a misty flip off that kicker? I think I missed something previous what? to that. Well, if that is you, uh, the real Phil Helmuth in the chat box, thank you for joining us here at Stones. We'd love to have you come in for a game. We actually broadcast a uh, uh, 10 25 no limit once a month, and every Wednesday we run a 510. You may be interested. Uh, get in touch with us. We'd love to get you in the game, Phil. And if you're the fake Phil Helmuth, definitely come by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a spot for you Sooner too. Sooner rather than later. That's uh, in the 1 2 no limit. We'll stick you right in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wad with pocket fours. Uh, Ryan has raised it up. Waz coming along, it looks like. Action's a little behind, but I think we're okay there. Ryan hitting his king. Not a great flop for Wad, but not the worst flop because it's easy to get away from. Right. That's right. And say bye bye, Wad. Uh, bye bye, yeah. Wad. Bye bye, Wad. Let it go. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, no one cares about your fours. Hey, TV time, bro. That's cool. That's cool. We got a few seconds. No big deal. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously not the best swap for fours. Um, and he just can't continue with. <laughs> with much there. We, uh. We got a warning in the chat room not to buy a Tesla. I don't I don't see any facts to back it up, but we've been told don't buy a Tesla. Let us know why Jimmy Bluff it says no Teslas. I think they're awesome cars, but if you uh, if you got some valid reasons I want to hear it, I'm always willing to learn and get smarter. Is that because you live on an island, Jimmy Buffett? He does he really? <laughs> I don't know if he lives there, but I know he was. If he does, there. he probably owns it. <laughs> Do you own an island? Someone Where in the chat room is saying that that is the real Phil Helmuth, so... Uh, Sweet deal. What's up, Phil? Uh, but then Phil Helmuth responds says the real one only has one L. I don't know what's going on. I feel like we're being no, toyed with here. No, one L and Phil. Yeah, this one has two Ls. Three Ls in the whole name. P-H-I-L-L -L and then another now L in the Helmuth. Now I'm just confused. So. What the L? Hey, uh, so if the fake Phil Helmuth could get the real Phil Helmuth in there, we'd really appreciate that. Would the real Phil Helmuth please stand up? <laughs> <laughs> um, my husband was super psyched. He knocked Phil Helmuth out of a spicy pineapple. Did he get tournament. an autograph or anything? No, uh, online. Oh, online. Like a free spicy pineapple tournament. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Highlight of his month. Cobra suited King Jack. Anthony is suited King Jack. <laughs> Waz raised it up to 34,000. It's on Cobra right now with that suited King Jack to call. And he's going to let it go. What about Anthony? He's thinking. Wow. I've got 180,000 and i got to put in a sizable portion to see a flop. He's coming along. Pretty, pretty tight fold from uh, Cobra. I mean, I think he's just playing like a super solid, snug game. Well, we're heads up to this flop. Anthony's going to see a flop in position. And it's a miss for both of them. So really, uh, at this point, I think it just comes out to who's willing to bet at it. It's not Wah. He's checking. If Anthony's Did willing to fire here, yeah, I, I think uh, wow, he, he would have taken back. it down. Check, uh, check. They're both being very conservative. Yeah, yeah. That would be a very good spot for Anthony to take a stab at it. Um, maybe he thinks King High is good. 
I feel like a turn bat would be Even so in line there, yeah. Now, you know. And on the river, no one's gonna believe anybody with a deuce out there. Law checks again. Yeah. Anthony. Now if Anthony steps in it. He's just play it safe. That ace will take it down. Law's gonna scoop it. I mean, it. maybe Anthony thought he, his king high might be good, uh, or Law's just Service is too strong. Maybe his opening range is too strong, and he's just gonna check call. There's your chip counts, guys. Azan's still way up in the lead. Ryan's still second place. Jason sitting a little under 800,000 in chips. Chang, Wa, and Chris aren't too far behind. Um, you know, one big pot, and they, they're right there in it. Wait, someone should go out there and ask Chang if he wants the lights down a little, because I'm thinking this is not actually about hiding for tells. It might be too bright in the room for him. Yeah, maybe he's hung over. That could be too. <laughs> Just say, I like to wear a nice pair of sunglasses when I'm hung over. Well, you got to talk a lot. I like Chang, incognito tonight. I'm going to bleep you out of way. All right, Wall with King Jack. Just thinking about getting frisky. Only 12,000, Wall. Only 12,000. <laughs> Calm down. Wow, you know. That's, that's more than 12,000. I think he's getting a little chip drunk, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's just why he plays like that, you know? Oh, yeah, I but really don't know him. He's. Here's the thing. Ryan, He'll I mix it really up. He'll mix it up pre flop with a lot okay. of hands. Okay. And then when he hits, he's capable of building a big pot. Mm. And then when he's not, he's very capable of getting away. He doesn't get easily attached to his hands. Yeah. It makes him a very dangerous player. That's good. Um, yeah, I feel like the King Jack early position open is a little ambitious, but. Uh... Yes, I have to agree with you there. And that's coming from me, so. <laughs> but let's see if it pays off for him. I mean, this is poker and anything can happen. You can't see him calling this raise from Jason. Out of position. I mean, he probably suspects that, that Jason's messing around a little bit. He's, you know, while starting to open up, open like more pots. Uh, but I think he still has to fold, you know. Jason, yeah. Jason yeah. pops it, Wa gets out of there, and like I said, Wa has great intuition. Yeah. He knows when to make a play, but he also knows when he gets caught. So does Jason. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. You know, Jason uh, knows he can use his position here. So when you have all these players that are equally talented, does it really just, just come down to the cards? We're just going to shuffle chips around for uh, Pretty much, four hours. Huh? Like yeah. this. <laughs> Until the blinds force someone in, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, the blinds are still... Everyone, everyone's still pretty deep. <laughs> uh, so, like, deep stacks, very competent players. Um, yeah, this could take a while. Yeah. We haven't seen any, like, huge confrontations. So, yeah, I mean, I and think the even cards though we've had some play themselves and, and know, matchups, eventually. Right? Yeah. I think, I feel like... Almost everyone, everyone's pretty much playing it safe. Um, Anthony's kind of mixing it up, trying to trying to run it up. But other than that, I mean, I feel like everyone's playing real snug. There's a lot on the line. I mean, even for these guys who uh, have made a lot in poker, you know, forty-four thousand is a big payday, and the pay jumps are pretty big, you know. They are. Um, so, as is pretty typical of most payout structures for poker tournaments, they're very top heavy. Yeah. The majority final, of the money is, is at the final team. Mm, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the difference between ninth and first is just 40,000. So cool, 40 Gs. We got a uh, poker pro Eric who was oh, also so on day two. He's in the chat room. He's calling for a nine way chop. Sorry, Eric, we don't allow it until after three hours of play. Didn't you call for like a 16 way chop or something? Hell yeah, 16 way chop. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it feels appropriate. I think the worst thing about a chop is uh, when you want to have one and then you bust and then they chop it right after you bust. Yeah, that's, that just that's a terrible feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so here, we don't know what Che has. Card. Mystery cards. It's worth 56000 to him, though. Chris in the small blind with ace nine. Um, I think Chris probably suspects he has the best hand here. 
But he's out of position. What's exactly. he going to do? Exactly. But it's still hard to defend. Um, did Chang open his I actually I don't recall the pre flop action. We were too busy chatting. Yeah. Away. So. But where we're at now, it looks like Chris Chang. has checked the flop. Chang bet out 56,000, and Chris really thinking this throw. I mean. Now we see Chang's card now. He's betting yeah. at least 10. He actually pretty did good. hit this flop pretty, pretty good. good. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think Chris is, is wondering if he can take it away from him. Um, it's pretty unlikely that this hit Chang's range, but I guess he could have a 10. <laughs> Maybe Chris wondering if he can rep like a random 7. Or Chang's hand, ace 10. Very hard to continue unless you're check raising, though. Okay, and he's out of down. there. A little more intimidation factor. <laughs> I like it, Chris. I like it. I'm like, even when you hold it, it still scares the living daylight out of me. All oh, right, Anthony still hanging in there with 142,011 big blinds. Wow. He's basically got to just try and pick a spot here and double up. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely looking to double up. Um, especially since there aren't any other really short stacks. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, you know, he might want to just like try to fold and go up, move up, up the payouts, but. Um, so the next pay jumps about a thousand dollars. See, Jason gonna muck the king four. What? <laughs> raise all in. Yeah, Anthony has sevens on the button. I think yeah, I he's, heard he's raise shipping. all in with sevens. Okay. Yeah. I think with the hands that are out there, I mean, he might get called by Ryan in the big blind just defending. He's got almost a million in chips. Um, yeah. Ace eight, two overs. Does he call? Does he play it safe? He's thinking it through right now. Uh, you got plenty of chips to spare, Ryan. Just put them in there. Man. No, Ryan. Ryan's too smart for that. I think he's playing too conservative. I mean, uh, he's playing on the conservative side. Uh -huh. Otherwise, you know, it, it's not a terrible spot to fall. Yeah. Because uh, I think Anthony could be opening up a pretty rabbit. wide range. Let's here. see a rabbit hunt. Rabbit. I want to see some rabbits. <laughs> what was the flop? <laughs> what would have happened? I want to know. Ace eight, eight seven. <laughs> Very standard shove there with the sevens on the button. Um, was he on the button? <laughs> I, I don't up? think he was. No, no, he oh, wasn't on the button because uh, the oh. button was in seat eight. Okay. So he was right, right there in the middle, just a couple away yeah. from last position if he was post flop. Yeah. That's a good spot seven. though. Pocket yeah, I think seven. Good pot. I think in his position, like you got to pick a range of cards, and if a pot's not open, you got to just kind of stick your chips in there oh, yeah. and know that you're going to see all five <laughs> cards. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, with pocket kings in the down. big blind. Wow. How sweet so is it to get a hand like that so in the big sick. blind? See what everybody does. <laughs> he must be living right. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Let's see um, if anyone gets frisky here. Dan I mean, S. We got Queen some, Jack. some reasonable hands here. Twenty-five thousand. Can a Zong call? It looks so like he Dan might have. Yep. Zong gonna flat on the button. All right, so. Gosh, gonna Ryan's going to call too, Big. Jack 9 suited. I predict a huge snap all in. raise. Snap all in. Snap all in? Yeah. It was a snap all in. He didn't even Man, put his chips he in. He, he knows. made it look like a squeeze. Does that make it look more like a squeeze? It kind of does. I feel it, like that's yeah. so strong. Just a snap. And he there's no way, Ryan. It should have made it look Ryan. like he was debating. Yeah. Check. And he shows it. And just so just a reminder, this entire series had a point system for the sub-events and for the main event. So it will be wrapped up when this is done. The points will be awarded. Whoever gets first place will take half of the side prize pool. And 
<laughs> this and trophy will go on their mantle. Oh, be careful. Oh I almost gosh. blew Justin's eye out when he was oh in here with me. This trophy is going to the point leader. It's not necessarily the winner of the final table, because uh, there's we have a couple people that cash big in some of the sub events. Uh, so it really is up for grabs, but I think a couple guys at the final table can still get it. We can't even fit it all in the frame. This is so this is so oh big. Can we get it all in so there? Big. There it is. Seriously. There it is. Easy, easy. All right. Okay. There it is. That's, that's the trophy. <laughs> that's the trophy. Everyone that was on day two also got one of these fancy stone shirts I wanted to show them. There's the one with the bull head. That is our uh, signature bull head twister, the longhorn bull that's on the back wall. And we have another one. This one's my favorite. Sticks and stones. Gambling Hall. So oh, clever. Yeah, we have them in orange and gray. Make sure you have one if you don't have your Stones gear. And most importantly, Stones pen. Oh my gosh. There it is. Take one home today. Only right. $29.99. Get down here, guys. They're going like hotcakes. I always wondered about that saying. Was there a time when hotcakes were just like, that you couldn't keep them on the shelf? Are hotcakes like pancakes? I think so. <laughs> All right, it looks like we're heads up here. Still pre-flop action with Jason. 15,000 more to call. 6-3 in the We don't need to be playing that trash. Get it out of here. He's still going to tell the story. He's still going to tell the story. Chang open that? It looked like it, yeah. Nice, Chang. Or maybe a repop. I was too busy showing off the trophy. Want to flip and you flip to the level. Oh, that's true. That's true. Sorry, Val. I think they're talking shit about me. Really? Yeah, she is. At the table? <laughs> right now. I did show all this. They're like talking about bubbling. Oh, oh, We no, can I hear you guys. It's because Anthony said something about the eights because I talked to him before the stream. And I told him, like, yeah, I was just going to sit there and let, you know, those crazy people, you know, someone was going to bust. But then I looked down at eights and I just said all in. <laughs> oh, whoops. I think anybody would have done that in your situation. But I think he's saying it because he just he called off with eights. Just four minutes left in this level and the blinds are going to be going up a little bit. And Chris uh, just has QQ. That's all? Just QQ. <laughs> QQ right. and two guns. Nice little raise up to 27,000. Two and a half. Not even two and a half. Yeah, a lot of two point Yeah. I know, right? It's the new, the new best. Is that what they're doing now? Is that what the kids are calling it? Yeah, we'll get oh, Cobra's not coming along with no 6-7. If I know Cobra, throw him away, Cobra. Yeah. The clock's running. Oh, I feel happy for the night. Sorry. You're getting like 19 to 1. Yeah, easy. <laughs> but seriously, like 4 to 1 or something. And again, thanks for being here in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the needling just doesn't end around here. Well, it really can't. It really can't. It can't. I love it. That's not bad. Your, your payout's scrolling up right there. 3,368. You can't lie and tell us who made any less. <laughs> I was in for nine bullets. Broke even. Nine bullets? Just kidding. Just kidding. Well, you know, if at first you don't succeed, then you keep trying, right? Actually, I was in for two bullets in the satellite. But hey, good investment. Excellent investment. <laughs> so you basically got into this tournament for... Like half price. Well, was it a 1 in 5 satellite or a 1 in 10? 1 in 5. Uh, yeah. Cool. I like those satellites the best. I feel like if oh, I can't yeah. make the top 20%, I have no business playing like <laughs> it, right? <laughs> Yeah, I love the one in five settings. All right, we are also watching the chat room, guys, but I have to warn you, if you insist on talking about basketball, you might completely lose me. No basketball, no politics. It's a poker game, guys. It's a poker game. All right, we got a new hand out here. Run it up. I have a feeling once these blinds go up to 8,000, 16,000 in about two minutes, we're going to start seeing quite a bit more action here. Yeah, I mean, uh, these levels are 60 minutes. Um, since since day two, right? Right, there were 40 minutes all through day one, yeah. A, B, C, and D. 
day two and this final table, we play yeah. 60 minute I mean, levels. Pretty amazing structure. Uh, 60 minute blinds right now, and everyone's so deep. You can see that. Um, so that's why Lots we haven't of seen a, a lot of like, yeah. large confrontations. They can really pick their you know? spots. Yeah. Basically what we're going to need is like three giant pocket pairs and like an ace king yeah. suited or something. Yeah. And then, we then can we'll have a dealer. Here. He can do it. This <laughs> dealer can do it. I For promise sure. you. He's kind of a cooler dealer, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, they're still talking basketball in the chat room. I'm just going to turn oh, this off. Closing, closing uh, chat. Bye chat room. Chat's off. Just kidding, you're still up. We're just not going to look at you until you start po talking poker. <laughs> um, yeah, there were some other like crazy sickos in the field too. Yesterday. Like who? Uh, Sean Drake was oh, in there. Yeah. I actually fully expected to see Sean at the final table. Also, an interesting tidbit, our regular uh, commentator here in the booth, Jake. Yeah. This is the first Stone's the Life final table that the Jake is not at. <laughs> Up until now, he had made every single Stone's Live final table. You, yes. You're talking about the championship series. No, no, no. I mean anything that's been on the oh, live stream. Gotcha, anything gotcha, on the live stream. Yeah. So, so any final third, table we've streamed, he's been at it. Yeah. Third or fourth? Uh, third or fourth? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Don't make me think right now. It's been a long week. This series, my uh, wow. myself and my TDs, we work 14 to 16 hours the whole yeah, week. Yeah, they, they, they work their butts off here. We want to make sure everything is perfect everything, and uh, yeah. make sure that the players are well taken they care of. They run a so. tight ship. We do. They take care of us. You guys got to get <laughs> down here. Absolutely. <laughs> so Ryan uh, going to take this one down. Easy takedown. Easy takedown. Oh, uh, yeah. Jake and I were actually <laughs> at the same table to start day. <laughs> They're, they're calling for me to be muted in the chat room because I won't stop talking about poker. <laughs> you guys may not have known this, but this is a poker show. Uh, this just in from Poker Pro Eric. Sean Drake actually still in the WPT with 185,000 in chips. So he's still a strong contender over there. Very nice. Yeah, he seemed distracted here. He was like, I'm in another tournament. Yeah, it's hard when you have day twos at two different places. Yeah. It's a tough life. It's a very tough life, yeah. The other buy-in is a little bit more. 3,500, right? A little bit more. Yeah, it's huge. Seven times more. That's nothing. <laughs> Oh, Ryan G with Ace Queen and Chang with Pocket Queens. We might see a little action on this hand. Wow, here you go. And Chris. Oh, <laughs> There's the Ace Queen for Ryan. What are you thinking, Ryan? Are you gonna play? So He's just got mountains of lives. Wow. 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 And it looks like he's put something in there. Is it a raise? Is it a call? It looks like a raise. I think I see three yellow chips, at yep. least 30,000. 30,000 raise. <laughs> Maybe a little less. Waz is going to put a re-raise with uh, King Queen Waz. Three times three back Terrible. here. Can you run out there and let him know not to Don't do that? Don't do it. <laughs> Pull the chips back. <laughs> Um, I mean, so Ryan I don't actually hate went it, up. He went up to twenty six thousand. Just, just a bad spot. And now, yeah, I mean, Chang Chang has to consider just shipping here. Uh, With six hundred thousand? Well, <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> Say it's not so, Valerie. <laughs> Time out. What are we playing again? I think like maybe. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's so much in there though. 129,000. Maybe like a hundred. Uh, Whoa, where does hand go? Okay, his hand's still there. Gosh. There it is. We're back. All right. <laughs> Just scared me. Don't be folding don't queens in this maimed. spot. I'm gonna guess like two, <laughs> two hundred thousand right here, or maybe 150, 150 to two hundred thousand. Um, I like his array. What did he do? I think he flatted. Just a flat. I mean, the problem is yes, he has Wall, all those out there. The problem is Wall has not been messing around, like three betting light at all. Right. So Chang's just like, wow, am I seriously just running queens into kings or aces, you know, at the final table? That is. Uh, he wasn't as short as I thought he was. You know what? Sorry. I actually don't mind Shank's call here, being that he's in the small blind. He's got to play the rest of the hand in worst position. <laughs> yeah. And he might not know this, but both overs are out there. Oh, yeah, he cannot flop a set. That's a great flop for Chang, so he's got to come out betting here, right? 
Melman is supposed to deliver the 500. I, you guys didn't I get think, it? Um, I think he has about every option. Check raise? Yeah. I don't think anyone's betting this hand, though. No, I'm just going to check around. Looks like. Hold on, I saw a wall check. Yeah, check around. Oh, sick turn. Wow. Wall is still going to play it safe and check back here. King Jack 8 6 board. I mean, Chang's oh, cold look. call has it's to It's actually, it wasn't a king. Uh, there was an issue oh, was with the action king. tracker there. It oh. uh, was an ace on the turn. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Um, so now Ryan actually has the check mark. Wow. Aces and jacks. Just let him get His there. His queen working. Wow. And we got a couple plaques coming out. That's close to a $60,000 bet. Yeah, I mean, Chang has to regret not leading the flop, obviously. He probably takes it down on the flop, right? Yeah. If he bets there? Uh, yeah, I'd say. I mean, his his cold call in the small blind there looks so strong. So when he, if he yeah. leaves the flop, I mean, I think he takes it down or finds out the bad news and folds. We are five minutes into this new level. 8,000, 16,000 blinds with the 2,000 ante. As the blinds go up, it puts pressure on the players. And uh, as the pressure gets on the players, we're going to see people start to open up their range here to try and survive. In tournaments, you're constantly playing against the clock. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, eventually going to force some action here. <laughs> uh, looks like Chang's not letting this one go too easily. I think he's just calling. He's going to look him up. He's going to look him up, let everyone know he how bad he runs. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. Goes in, dominant, comes out, losing some chips. I mean, well, once he checks the flop and it checks around, ace on the turn, yeah. I think you just have to say, he probably okay, went, the way I played this, you know, I <laughs> But, you know, he was getting a really good price to call there on the river to look up Ryan. And Ryan knew that. Ryan uh, priced him in. Oh, yeah. 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 But an ace or a jack, definitely in Ryan's, Ryan's range there, but... All right, next hand. Let's see some action on this one. I want aces, kings, queens, and jacks all to come out and then flop. Set over, set over. Yes. Set and quad river. You know what we should do? All sets. The board straights on the river. Oh, nice. Just I for like fun. It. Just for fun. I like it. But then, like, the, an ace would make a higher straight, so you see who, who like, takes a stab at it. <laughs> We're just getting too crazy here. <laughs> All right, Azan, one of my favorite hands. Azan. King, queen, he calls 16,000. All right, queen 10. Queen 10, queen. suited. Queen 10 suitor? Yep. <laughs> would you call it a suitor? Suitor? A queen 10 suitor? That's what we call it in uh, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, easy call, Chris. Easy it's coming. Fold. It's coming. Don't fold. No. I feel like Chris really wants I mean, to play hands against this on. It was an under the gun raise from the big stack, but still, oh, Chris wants to he's see. He's getting a such a good price, with, yeah. you know, with a hand that uh, should be live. You know, I like the call. I like the call. Oh, no. Oh. Misses both of them. Whiff, whiff. Um, I think we'll just see a, a check and a bet check, from Azan. Check bet fold. I don't think Chris could bet here. <laughs> yeah. That's the uh, Chris signature check right there. Yeah. Pound on the arm. Show the, off uh, the guns. <laughs> <laughs> the forearm check. <laughs> There's uh, exactly what we predicted. A little oh, I wanna come see, along I wanna bet. See, uh, yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, there was a funny hand. Not happening. There was a funny hand yesterday. Uh, I forget who was in the hand with Chris, but they were both just quick checking. It might have been Azan actually. Uh -huh. They're like 
both just shoulder on their checked, own. Shoulder checked, 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 and the dealer's just sitting there, and I was like, they both shoulder checked. <laughs> he was like, oh, I'll, I'll start watching their shoulders. Okay. <laughs> Funny story when it comes to weird checks. When I first started off in this industry, I was a dealer, and I, uh, this was the strangest check that I ever had. It was this. Ready? <laughs> and I was like, looked at him, I'm like, it. it's your action, and he just goes, this winks again, and I'm like, you're like, you know that's not an official <laughs> check, right? You can't just wink at the dealer. <laughs> uh, I like it. <laughs> you see a lot of players really like get the, creative. I like with the air it. check. This? I, like, I do that sometimes. <laughs> they usually accept that as a check. Yeah. I mean, or, I like to do this one too. A good dealer will verify what's this mean? Check. What's this? Check. <laughs> Once they know you and they can. They can yeah. do it. Jason uh, waking angling. up with his favorite hand, JJ again. I think those cards look for him. Oh, yeah. He just keeps them up his sleeve, pretty sure. <laughs> Cheater! Say it's not so. <laughs> All right, oh. I think we're going to see a nice little raise from Jason yeah, here. Yeah, we need like a weak ace to call, hit an ace, and Chris Jason has to just lose his shit. <laughs> Do you think he will? He knows he's on camera. He's so tilted. He's, he's been so, so proper. <laughs> That's because he's won every pot he's played. That is true. <laughs> it's easy to stay composed then. That is. Uh, Put him to the test. Oh, Let's him there low. we go. Cobra with pocket oh, wow. fives. Cobra. Wow. That's not the right spot. Cobra just knows he's gonna pop a set here. He must. I easy think had game. we not seen that shove from Cobra, wow. we might have had Chris come along with his ace. Yeah, but it's, it's, at this point, I mean, um, Cobra's all in for 195. It's 161 more for Jason to call. How you know, can he hold? I didn't. No, How can he's he hold? not holding. Yeah. I don't think so. No. Um, he's waiting I didn't realize Cobra had, was that short. Uh, he's been just kind of hanging out, waiting. Um, so that's why Jason's thinking about this. I mean, Cobra's been playing very snug. No, now Jason put in a raise here. I'm actually kind of shocked with such a small pocket pair. That Cobra, like someone that plays a little more of a conservative game, would come yeah. in and shove, pick a spot with 5-5 five five yeah. on a raised pot. I'm a little bit surprised too, but um, I, I think it has to do with it being Jason. Maybe he thinks Jason's uh, opening opening kind of wide and might might fold a lot of his that's true. opening range. Yeah, so. and, and that's what we were talking about earlier. Jason's image really comes into play when he has a big hand. Yeah, sure. He's likely to get paid off. Yeah. Jason's got some plaques in his hand. Something He's like stacking 30, up some chips. Thirty thousand in their pre-flop now. Something like that. I don't see. I the think box. Jason's counting down, seeing if I lose this pot, what will I have <laughs> left? I, I think he's gonna do a, a crying call here. I mean, he could fold. He could. Well, he's getting some great TV time here, but I think <laughs> Jason, we all know you're gonna call. Just put it in there, get it over with. Let's see what happens. He's gonna yep. put it in. Cobra's he's, gonna spike a five. He's so he's hesitant. Look at him. Flip the table over. <laughs> he knows Cobra's a strong player. He, he's just like not happy he's with Jax. Now he's happy slow though. Slow roll. Oh please, there's no Dan's, slow Dan's roll. Dan's calling him. Oh stop it. He was really thinking about it, but he was pretty much never holding. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get here. Cobra is 14% going into this flop. He needs to get lucky. I have a very strong feeling there's going to be a five. <laughs> no five. Cobra is 7%. Wow, that's so sick. Oh, there's only one five left. Only one five. Didn't realize that. This is so exciting. Is out What's going to happen? Ace, it's down to the river see card. Ace was gonna beat him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it, and it uh, looks like Cobra is gonna be leaving in ninth place. Ninth place getting four thousand one hundred and sixty dollars. Bad, good run, Cobra. Good Very run. nice, good job. <laughs> Oh, and now we get to hear Jason's reasoning. He's going to talk about it for the yep. next five minutes. Yeah, so if you guys want to know why he tank called, just listen. <laughs> Again, I, I think it's really simple looking at it, um, you know, because Cobra is a very conservative player. Yeah. You can't be too happy with yeah. pocket jacks when Cobra shoves yeah, all in. you just kind of uh, call, cringe, and then you're like, oh, sweet. Yeah. 
I mean, and, and I'm probably, I'm mostly always calling you. Yeah. Unless, unless I ever see you. Alright. He wasn't getting quite tipped on, but I mean. I didn't, I didn't, have, I didn't have, 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 have a good enough read before. Was... <laughs> we are eight handed now. Uh, next player out getting a whopping $5,208. That <laughs> is enough to buy both of us quite a few beers. Yeah. yeah. Good night. <laughs> Woo. Okay. I'll buy, yeah, I mean, $1,000 pay jump. So, uh, basically, everyone at the table just I'll got guaranteed an extra thousand. Right? Very nice. Uh, Anthony is the most happy about it. Whatever you guys are telling. Not like came in as the short sack. I'll probably not even have all my action. I'm not even have the chat room's so loving Jason's Jason. explanation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys get free poker tutorials when you play with Jason. Yes, you do. <laughs> He's the best. He seriously would have flipped the table over if I came up. I was like, I don't want to go. You made 8% for 5% of me. You made the best on the flat. You have 8% of me for 5% of me. He just spews it. Alright, Chris here with sevens on the button. Oh, Chris will mix it up with sevens. That's well within his range of playability. Oh, okay, so Anthony shipped his short stack, yeah, because, you know, he doesn't need to, to hold on anymore. Well, that changes it up for Chris with those sevens, because now we're talking uh, about 30% 30, 30 of his stack. Yeah, that's uh, that'd be a real big call. And he's got this two players behind him. A very marginal spot. Very, very tough spot, actually. For and Chris. he's still flipping, but he doesn't know that. The for all he is, knows, he could be dominated. The problem is, what if he flats and then Azan or Ryan? He's got these giant stacks of lines, and one of them just goes all in. He has to take it. It's just like, sure. What can I have? Hey, Stan. Plus, he was only flipping. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, he wasn't in fantastic shape. He's basically flipping at best there, so. That's all right. There it is. The chip counts for the remaining eight players. Oh, oh they're, they're apologizing for the basketball talk. <laughs> Don't let that begin, Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> I'm getting called out now for directing the chat room to not talk about it. And they want to know where I bought my tie. Where did I get this tie? I don't remember. I have quite the tie collection. This one's been around for a while. It's an oldie but a goodie. So, yeah, with that pot, uh, Jason is right there. When do we get our beer? Right there in the top three. So. Order the damn beers. Because if we are, then I might All right. Order the damn beers, I heard. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just... Did they hear us talking? I don't just know. Kidding. Maybe. <laughs> they can't. They... <laughs> guys, guys, I don't drink beer. I drink Tito's. They would be hearing us 20 minutes later anyways. No money on the pot. Oh. That's so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're oh, traveling through time here. We're no, we're actually, we're only a couple seconds delayed. The game is in the past. We're in the... Yeah, they're 20, 20 to 30 minutes in the past. We got the flux capacitor yeah, right there. The past, so. <laughs> Sorry about it. Um, they want me to put the tie around my head. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on. I think they're starting to order drinks, so that might happen soon. Oh, they were actually, I heard these guys talking uh, yesterday about how the whole table was going to take a shot every time someone busted out. And I was like, that, that would make the so final table so awesome. Fun. And okay, if they, they put it in order for drinks, did they do that? No, no, no. Yeah, they said get the beers, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that would be nice because now we're down to the final three players and it's just going to be nuts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, Dan would definitely be out there because he can probably hold his liquor the most. I, I have a feeling that this whole table can hold their liquor. These Maybe guys Chris, look like some guys that can handle partying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I know for a fact, I've seen Wa drink. I know he can hold it. So. Wow. Yeah. I know, He's right? A sleeper, you, huh? wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to know by looking at him. Uh, he could hustle some people. The Duke of Party. <laughs> All right, Azan. What's he got? King three. Bye bye, Azan. How about Ryan with that? <laughs> so Azan's just been chilling. Um, 
no need for him to be in a hurry, right? He's got the other two uh, people who have a million chips to his left. I mean, yeah. he's really can't. A six can't is good enough for long. Oh yeah, blind versus blind. Of course, Jason's in the big blind. Is Jason capable of repopping here? Uh, probably. I think more likely he just calls and plays a, pot, a smaller pot in position, but you know, he could put the pressure on. It looks like you called it. Yeah, yeah. Pretty standard call right. there. Let's see, it's really ace versus king. <laughs> Two sixes coming out here would be pretty sick. <laughs> Do it. Nothing. Wah bets, wah wins. What you gonna do, wah? Maybe. <laughs> My, I ha we've, Most likely. We've seen him in this position check, though, and he does here. Yeah, check now, old, yeah. Like I'm Anthony's not, not, I mean, not gonna check check like Anthony did. Jason's actually firing out in this spot. And when wah oh, watches yeah. this later, he's gonna Easily, be like, what I mean, the hell? As soon as wah <laughs> checks <laughs> there, you know. This is Jason's pot, so I'll have to take it. <laughs> I mean, it's also pretty hard for Wada to continue there and dunk that into, into Jason, but it might have worked. You want to see what I have three dudes and you're like, oh my god. They'll see it soon enough. <laughs> I would really love to make it to one of these final TV tables and be able to go back and like analyze my play afterwards. I, oh, yeah. I think that would be really yeah, awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of value in that. TV with like, I'm going to have like, like the drains and, and like set and <laughs> Jason uh, still talking about his range. <laughs> I think he's uh, explaining why Wall's fold was a good one. All right, so here we got. <laughs> All right, they got the beers. They got the beers. Finally. <laughs> um, Chris raised it up to thirty-two thousand. King Queen offsuit. Late position. Ryan folded a six on the button. Anthony with a seven. Anthony a seven in the big blind. Oh, you think you look at that big side. Do I do it now? Yeah. Do I not? <laughs> uh, it's kind of a tricky spot. Um, out of position against Chris. I'm sorry. I mean, he has a stack, like a reshub stack, but. I feel like he could win for a better spot. Just thinking about it, I guess. <laughs> While he's thinking Jason's going to pay for his beer, get that out of the way, Jason. <laughs> I think Jason was talking about why I should have folded my eights in the big blind with nine big blinds to his open. <laughs> he, he let it go, he let it go. All right. <laughs> Nobody has paid for 100 to say, well, she'll give him a change. So, I mean, the top three stacks here, um, you know, they're eight handed, but the top three stacks have 60% of the chips in play. That's insane. Over 60%. Um, so, pretty interesting here. Um, everyone else is right in the middle except for Anthony. Anthony's uh, the shorty, just waiting, waiting for Spot to get it in. Um, I don't think he'd be too mad to bust uh, eighth, you know, he already made a thousand dollars a day, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but he can yeah, definitely still run it up, you know? I would have been happy to, to bust 45th in this tournament, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me something. I want to feel like a winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my problem is when I min cash, I feel like I lost. Well, if you bought in a couple times, you did. So, <laughs> if I only bought in once. Yeah. So then I just like take whatever I make and like light it on fire. You do? Not Let me literally. tell you in the future, you, you could just give it to me. Figuratively. Ooh, I'll like take you out drinking or something. Like put it so, to good use because I'm the, going to get rid of it. You had me at drinking. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Ryan is going to raise it up here for 35000 
with a Suda King, Suda Kang on Suda the hijack. Well, that Indiana <laughs> voice coming out again, huh? It was suited. That's that's what prompted it. Is that spelled? Chang just S O O T E D in the big blind. <laughs> is that real? Six seven off. It looks like it is. I like it. Chang. Did he repot? He's like wow. Damn, he, uh, maybe, he has like a, a read, huh? maybe he has like a gum chew read. <laughs> it's like he doesn't chew his gum unless he like starts he's slowing weak. down. He's like, hold on, how fast is he chewing? I hope that's not real because I didn't mean to call him out if it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. I was just kidding. <laughs> they won't know until after they watch. So. <laughs> Ryan, spit out your gum, bro. <laughs> All right, still eight-handed here at this final table. Uh, three solid chip leaders holding about 60% of the chips in play. Next player out getting $5,208 for a $550 buy-in. Not bad. Not too shabby. Yeah. The winner just taking $44,000. That's all? No big deal. That's nothing. Pocket change. Another day at the office. But you wouldn't light $44,000 on fire. Nah. No. Only I like a thousand so. of them. <laughs> <laughs> just for fun. Just to keep you warm, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chris, let's mix it up with that 5 4. Come on, let's see some action. You don't. I will not. I'm the beer. You're no fun. Come on. 5 4 is a <laughs> golden hand. Chris is so ready to have a million chips. It's <laughs> like, come on, it's taking way too long. I have to think. Uh, Playing a live poker tournament has to be difficult for some of these players who are used to playing online, might be playing two or three tables, are used to there always being something going on, the hand's coming out fast. Yeah. Live poker is so much more laid back, you have so much more downtime. Uh, I think it was, I think, I, I was reading a poker book, believe it or not, I actually did read one, <laughs> Gus Hansen's book, oh, where he talked so about... Um, Every Hand Revealed? That yeah, one? yeah, it was a fantastic it's book. One of my favorites. Um, he talked about when you're at your downtime at the table, you, most people are watching a movie, yeah. listening to music, texting someone. He said, you're wasting, you're wasting your time there because you need to be watching the other players, how they play, what their capabilities are, and yeah. really just studying your competition. Yeah, putting you, everyone on ranges. That's part of what makes him such a good player. Oh yeah, for sure. There's always information there. So it looks like Ryan raised it up, 45,000. Uh, Jason raised, three, uh, three bet. King Jack off. Ryan's starting to get a King little Jack frisky off. with those uh, smaller hands, but you know, just flop the nuts. Maybe he deal. felt it coming. <laughs> Maybe. Um. Holy I mean, crap! All right, not just because you flopped the nuts, <laughs> but I mean, I think it's a great time to defend uh, against Jason's opening range. See a check? It should be live. <laughs> Sick check. And they're both at about a million in watch, chips watch too. Watch the gum chew. <laughs> He stopped. He stopped. <laughs> oh my god. You're in trouble. He's going to talk to you Sorry, later about Ryan. giving away his towel. <laughs> We're going to run over there and tell him to quit chewing. Yeah. He's like, what to do? Just a call? Black call. Um, Smart. I mean, against, again, against Jason's range, like, you, oh, that's oh, no. a bad card for Ryan. Oh, no. But still, yeah. against Jason's range, it's like, you got to let him keep betting. Yep. Uh, that eight. <laughs> I know. Ryan hates that eight. Yeah. Uh, it kills his action. For sure. It does. I mean, yeah. he has to think he still has the best hand. Um, but, but it's much but easier now, for Jason to get away from this yeah, at this point, like, and that's the thing. Now it's so easy for Jason to just check back the turn and, yeah. you know. He's going to fire out, try and lock it up now. I don't think Ryan wants to go much further with this. Yeah. 110,000. Pot is uh, 450000 now with that bet. Um, I mean, there's really not much that Jason can be thinking he's good with here. I mean, Ryan could be betting this amount, like hoping that Jason can find a raise or something. Uh, to, but, I mean, he can't really rep a seven. Jason's three thinking, betting. though. Look. He doesn't like being donked, you know, let into yeah, on the turn. But he but, knows uh, how to get away from it. You know, and he, that one, you know, he, he's there. basically playing for a chalk. Yeah. So. Sorry about the eight, Ryan. <laughs> you know, that's a risk he takes when he check calls only, but I think that's a, a very good play. It is definitely the right play in that position. Yeah. Even if it goes check, check, turn with a safe card or something. I mean, maybe it's a face card and it hits Jason and he continues and then can put in a raise or something and get more value. But they took you seriously, you the by the way, in the chat but room on your three re uh, five rebuys. 
Oh, uh, just kidding. Let's set the record that. straight. It wasn't five rebounds. She actually satellited into the tournament, so she's in good shape. I was in two bullets in a satellite, so yeah. it cost me like three hundred dollars to get in the tournament. Not that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, I don't barrel that hard. <laughs> Only on Tuesdays. All right, we got some playable hands this tomorrow, in this Tuesday? one. I think it is. Are you going to be here barreling? Somewhere. <laughs> barrel, barrel. So Chris gets Ace King. Beautiful hand in the big blind. Oh, in the big blind, nice. And Dan in the small blind with a very playable hand. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Guys, you thought I was in five bullets? Come on, come on. It's foul. Five bullets, that's Me. not foul, guys. Not. That's Justin. I can only be in uh -oh. reasonable play. Uh, I like Jack 10 suited. I like it. In the small blind with 10 Jack suited, uh, he had, what, 15 big blinds? I don't know what the blinds are. No, 229 blinds are 16,000 uh, for the big blind right now. Yeah, I mean, less than 15. Oh, what a flop for Dan. Was that two hearts? It looked like two hearts to me. Oh, yeah. What a flop for Dan. That is good Super news quick. so far. Sick. There's the 10. That helps ten. Dan out quite a bit. Okay. He's still got a sweat. Oh, not a jack. Ace. Because Jack's not lying. King. Jack. And, uh, Dan kind of had to do that. I mean, it's a very reasonable play. No, you didn't have Only to. 229 You don't have to do anything. But uh, it's a very reasonable play. Uh, I like Jack 10 suited. I like it. In the small blind with 10 Jack suited, uh, he had, what, 15 big blinds? The blinds are no, 229 blinds are 16,000 uh, for the big blind right now. Yeah, I mean, less than 15. Oh, what a flop for Dan. Was that two hearts? It looked like two hearts to me. Oh, yeah. What a flop for Dan. That is good Super news quick. so far. Sick. There's the 10. That helps ten. Dan out quite a bit. Okay. He's still got a sweat. Oh, not a jack. Ace. Because Jack's not lying. King. Oh, jack. Wow. 10 Jack survives for Dan, so it turns out it was a good spot. He didn't get it in ahead, but he comes Hold out on, ahead. You can't be results oriented. <laughs> I already told you that's how I play. But look at this flop. Either I mean, way, he's, he flops good the world. He does flop the world, yeah. It turned out not to be a great situation, but what a flop for him, man. If you're, if you're going to get it in 10 Jack against Ace King, that's a flop. Look at one. this. We get a beautiful close up of the dealer's oh, new hairdo. Look at that. And he so did. It looks like it's lovely so spikes. freshly cut. It looks Super like. Yeah, fresh. I'm glad we got to see that. <laughs> Super fresh. All right, nice hand, Dan. He's um, gonna survive. Yeah, that uh, that that hurt Chris for sure. You know, that was uh, over half the stack there. He's down so to 199,000 now. Yeah. Chris sitting on 12 big blinds. Down to 12 big blinds. Now Anthony might be thinking about uh, tightening up a little bit. Maybe can uh, move up in the money. The next pay uh, jump is about so 1,400 dollars. Yeah, you know. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, with Anthony's stack, you know, he's, he's pretty thrilled to, to get another short stack to join him. Unfortunately, it's Chris, I don't know how to say his last name, Hitchcliffe? Hitchcliffe, I think so. Unfortunately, it's him. There's so. a, a question in the chat room about what did Chris do wrong. Uh, to answer you guys in the chat room, absolutely nothing. <laughs> he forgot to uh, hit an ace or king. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't hit his ace or his king. Forgot to hold the baby. What we were talking about was when he was showing the cards. Oh, had, had he oh, not sorry, had he not called yet? Yeah. We actually don't allow that in this room. But in this situation, he had called and he was just kind of playing around. We we're just having a little bit of fun with it. We love Chris. He did absolutely nothing wrong. It's okay, guys, in the chat room. Don't uh, worry. Yeah, it just looked like he was <laughs> showing cards, which you're not supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, you can't show first and yeah. then make action. But he had already called, and then he was like, let's see what I got. Did he really? It looked like it. Oh. I think so. It doesn't really matter. I'm not the tournament director tonight. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so Ryan just has two A's. That's all? Just two A's. Is that a good hand? Um, pretty good. Pretty good? <laughs> all right. Um, Dan, OK. So Ryan raised it up, open with aces, under the gun. Chang flat, uh, chain flat is cut off. King ten suited. Reason. Dan's coming along too. Dan raised. Oops. He oh. Dan accidentally. I did miss. That was an accidental raise. He didn't mean to. Yeah, he didn't mean to raise. We're pretty sure of it. He didn't know how many chips he had in his hand. Yeah, it's hard to accidentally raise with the, uh, the 
what are they called? Plaques. Plaques. <laughs> you're very aware of what you're betting with the plaques. And Ryan, he bet a plaque. That could, that could be a tell. <laughs> Ryan's gonna hate me. <laughs> the plaques are just so valuable. Yeah, I mean, he can't just flat here out of position and let Chang in. He's gonna repop re it here. Just a bad spot for Dan. I mean, um, not a terrible idea to squeeze there with Chang, Chang calling in the, in the cutoff. Dan's going to act like he's thinking about it. I, I think Ryan's just been playing way too solid to, to mess around here. Plus, Dan's like, I just got these chips. Yeah, I think this is a... I mean, okay, Dan could surprise me, I guess. But he's got a lot of gears, let me say that. But he's got to realize this is a pretty bad spot. He's going to fold it. Yeah, he has to. <laughs> so when I say Dan has a lot of gears, I mean... I was wondering was, what that means. What do the gears mean I in mean, poker? I mean, there was that 4-6 offsuit hand that he opened, um, and I got involved with him in that pot. Um, but like a few rounds before that, at the same table, um, this was yesterday, he folded two queens face up uh, to my, let's see, I raised, he three bet, I four bet jammed because he, he had about a fourth of my chips mm -hmm. um, and he folded queens face up, so. But I think he's also capable of like shoving here, making a move or something, but. Uh, <laughs> nope. I think That's he just said he's laying down two queens. Uh, now why why me. when you're on a TV table? <laughs> Right? He's gonna go back later and watch it and see that you didn't have two queens there. That's such a good point. <laughs> Got the chips, bro. Um, I think it's just for the for the moment, like, to, to try to get some information out of Ryan. Maybe Ryan's like, oh, that's so sick, you pulled two queens. And then he knows that he had, like, aces or kings, right? Yeah. <laughs> or to make his uh, Hollywood look reasonable. <laughs> His tank pulled. Ryan was like, ship it, ship it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Send it. Until the flock comes king, king, yeah, queen. Right. <laughs> I'd like to see those chip counts updated soon. So let's see, Ryan G, one and a half million right wow. now. They shape us on. It looks like second place, one million. Wow. What do I know? Yeah, Ryan's won some uh, decent pots. Anthony all in here. Anthony uh, picking a spot with King 10 off suit. There's really not a lot out there to go against him. 140,000, I mean, um, with any of these yeah, hands, I don't I think it's very callable. This was probably a pretty safe shove for him. <laughs> That's a, uh, I feel like that has to be the uh, bottom of his shoving range. Middle position. I mean, he has, less, he has fewer than 10 big blinds, so, you know, he's just going after the money in the middle. What you have to do in this position. Oh, yeah, especially, you know, the blinds are coming around. He's like, gosh, the blinds are going to, you know, cripple me, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ryan pulling away with it a little bit. One and a half mil skis. <laughs> Azan pretty much chilling at what he started with, a million. Um, yeah, he's sitting pretty steady. Yeah, he couldn't get too out of line in, in his uh, position there. There's a lot of predictions going on. <laughs> Got a quick dealer change here, and we're going to get the action on the road pretty quick. 22 and a half minutes left in this level, and then I believe we are going on a 10 minute break.
Don't forget, you guys watching on the stream, uh, you can also follow along on our Twitter feeds. Uh, we have two of them, at Stones Gambling and at Stones Live Poker, which focuses specifically on Stones Live. <laughs> We'll put that in the chat for you guys. Head over to Twitter. Go at Stones Live Poker. And at Stones Gambling. I know, right? Anthony with East Nine off here. Um, you know, one position worse, but I don't see how he sends King-10 and not Ace-9. So, yeah, he's going to ship it here. Maybe just you know, had, had a different feeling? Who knows? He has, like, a, just some spider sense. And again, he's actually in pretty good shape yeah, unless I mean, someone decides to get uh, risky. Yeah, he's getting them through. Um, picking, picking good time. He's getting <laughs> some good timing. And, like, people are just not waking up with anything. But he, I think his, you know, he's been shoving frequently enough that uh, people do want to call, but they're they not just don't have anything. anything to call with. What can so. you call with here? 10-4? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Anthony, now start playing tight. <laughs> now pick up kings and get yeah, called and, by. And that's the thing, once someone does start like giving more action like that, the perception yeah. at the table is they're playing looser and looser, they're well, eventually more likely. Well, and also they're all going to find out what he's been shoving with. Well, that's true. It might be too late by then. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully for him. Yeah, keep it rolling, Anthony. Run it up. Oh, they got they got a pizza over there. All right, nice. you're on your own. I'm on oh my, my way gosh. over there. I want some pizza. <laughs> a party final table, and I bubble. <laughs> So sad. So sad. Why couldn't you just fold those eights? I know, right? <laughs> and then get it in with like ace nine against ace king. <laughs> and win. And win. Don't forget and that win, part. Yep. <laughs> I should have known better. I couldn't beat Jason. It seems like uh, the big blind's waking up with a lot of big hands in this game. Like, every time I see the big ace king, ace queen. Uh, Ryan G also with ace queen. It seems like uh, J Mac and Ryan going heads up with the same hand a couple times now. Yeah, I've never yeah. Seen the I have a prediction that's what's going to happen in this hand. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good prediction. Thank you. Uh, of course, Wazen, there was 6-7. Yeah, he could mix one. it up. True, true. If Ryan just calls here, I could see a raise coming from Waz. That uh, <laughs> is not just a call, though. I mean, Jason could for sure raise here. Definitely. Ace Queen. Um, Ace Queen's very strong against Ryan's button raising range here, the chip lead. Um, just, just call. call. Yeah. Let's see the flop. Yeah. A little tricky, tricky. 50-50, <laughs> that's crazy. No way. <laughs> Well, Jason actually, oh, with like, a well, slight advantage, change? yeah, it's that queen of clubs. Sick. He could go runner, runner clubs. This is not a lock for the shot. Yeah, Ryan has to uh, stab with this one. Even though 9-5 deuce is a little scary, I mean, it, it could hit Jason's calling range. From the big line, easily. right? Yeah. From the big line. Um, he calls? He's, he's going to float it out of position. Six. Oh my god. <laughs> we got a third Jason club on the board. Don't even do it. Now, um, Jason is very capable of betting or check raising now. Yeah, I mean, that six is much better for Jason. It does go check, check. And it is going to be a chop pot, assuming someone doesn't bet and win it. Man, I thought Jason was going to uh, leave that river. I think it would have worked. I think it would have worked. It just looks like he has something that hit the board, you know? Looks like he's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you hear Dan? How do you guys get hands like that? Check, <laughs> check. <laughs> he uh, doubles up with 10 jack against ace king and complains. So that was a chop pot. Um, 
they just check check down basically the turn in the river. Um, Pretty sick that like going to that river that Jason yeah. had an opportunity to win Ace Queen versus Ace Queen. Yeah, nine uh, nine club outs Jason had there to get there. <laughs> I wonder if Jason's tilting right now because he didn't leave that river. <laughs> He's definitely uh, giving some some schooling right now. You're getting some mad props in the chat room right now. Oh, They're saying you are the poker expert. Val knows her <laughs> poker. I wouldn't go that far. And then someone chimes in and said, is that a diss to the other commentator? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine if it's uh, a diss. Val definitely knows Justin's more about poker than I do. Justin's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot about running poker games, just not hey, so much about playing. You got them. me crushed there. That's true. Crushed. I'll take it. <laughs> take a win where I can get it. <laughs> All right, so, well, pretty basic action here. It's on, uh, oh. Oh, he shows the 10-4. Hold on, did he ship there? <coughs> or did, I think he just oh, raised, I think Jason yeah. just or Azan's like, you know what, guys? I'm just going to sit out for a little while, get some grub. <laughs> Let me know when we're down to five. Because he has average chips for five-handed, right? So uh, who's that? Azan. Azan. Like a million. So when we're five-handed, average would be like a million. Yeah. So yeah, you can chill. Yeah. He's got plenty of time. He's just being patient, waiting for uh, for good spots. Good boy. Good boy, Azan. <laughs> <laughs> So Anthony's still a short stack. Oh, Chris is actually a little bit shorter. Another ace king for Ryan. I would say that he got was like, is it? a great seat wow. draw. What do you wow. think? Wow, decent. Wow. I mean, Jason to his left, but just pick up aces and ace king. And With the hands that he's picking up, <laughs> it really doesn't matter who's on his left. He's uh he's Run getting some decent. great Run cards. He's got a big stack. Playing super solid. <laughs> so Ryan G gonna take that one down. Easy win. With a little bluff. Just What's kidding. this? A side bet going on? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're like pitching in for food or drinks yeah. or something. <laughs> I want in on some prop bet action. Come on, <laughs> that I can actually do. <laughs> they're playing for thousands of dollars and they're like, dude, you owe me five bucks. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is, though. That's how it goes. The Jakes in the chat room says, these guys are so lucky that Val busted in 10. <laughs> <laughs> right, the Jake? Ugh. Well, Jake, Val could have been there if she hadn't gone all in with pocket eights. And like spewed a little bit to Dan. <laughs> all right, I don't see a lot of action hands in this one. I do like that 10-9 suited for Anthony. We're at a zone right oh, now, yeah. gonna let the 10 On the button go. too, I mean, if it falls to him, I don't see him not folding. Did you guys get that negative? So negative, double negative? Double negative, he goes positive. Those confuse me. Those he goes confuse up positive, me. guys. Yep. <laughs> He's gonna ship it, that's what I was saying. Okay. Yeah. Good call. Ship status. Um, you really do know your poker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Just read minds. Well, that what if, that what should if Chang get through. just like snapped with the 8 5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see yeah. Chang doing that. Yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah. If his intuition is that those cards are coming, <laughs> Chang will be in there with that. Chang ain't screwed. That's for sure. Dan really wanted to wake up with like a lot of hands there. <laughs> He's ready to call. Um, yeah, good shove there by Anthony on the button. Um, 
takes down some blinds and annies. And then the guy still <laughs> He still called oh, the like 20 big. Was it the dude with all the giants here? Yeah. 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 He's, he's, he's an honest guy. guy. You know, we just recently yeah, added a microphone to the table for the table talk. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was cool. But it was so funny. Why, look cool. Hey, no, that's still a pause. I'm like, look, it's still cool. Oh, so I know what they're talking about, actually. It was a pretty funny story. It was that or... Yeah, it's all bad. We were playing, like, all day. Craig. Gold, I think? Yep. Yeah, very solid player. Very. In person. Uh, so <laughs> he was getting pretty short stacked. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember the action though. Uh, I was in the small blind and Craig was in the big blind. And um, Dan, Dan opened in the middle position. I called with like five, six of spades and Craig called. And the flop was ace, ace. Blank, two spades. I check, Craig checks. Uh, no, actually, I think Craig let out a little bit. And um, Dan raised or something. And. <laughs> okay, I'm getting lost here. Basically, uh, I think, no. Craig, um, Dan ended up shipping on Craig. And Craig said, um, nice hand and turned his hand up, face up, right? Mm -hmm. Before he said call or anything. And he's like, and uh, so Dan flips his hand up just to show him he had ace queen for better trip aces. Oh, no. And uh, Craig had ace nine. And he still called. He was like, oh, I meant call. I thought I said call. And he was like, I still called. Oh, call. wow. And it, the board that ran actually, out for a chop. Uh, six, really? six, ran out for a chop. That was amazing. It's still pretty stand up of him, though, that he's still Very sorry it took me like a million years to get through that hand. <laughs> you were under a lot of pressure. Oh we gosh. totally understand. I was under duress. Did I hear an all in on the table? Um, yeah, I did. This is pretty sick. While well, opened up nine. with Ace King. No. no. Dan. Yeah. Dan has King Nine. Yeah. Suited. Called in the small blind. Wah's completely whipped pair. the flop. And this is pretty sick for Wa because he went pre-flop dominating on this hand, and now he shoves all in with I mean, air. He's repping an over pair real hard. I mean, um, but is it gonna work? I don't. This know. is for Dan. This is his tournament life. Is oh, yeah. it's almost. I mean, I'm sure Dan was like happy to see that flop, and now he's just like, wow. Yeah. Really? Did he lead out? Yeah, I'm not sure of the pre-flop action, but at this point, Wa's bet here has put Dan in a really tough spot. He's left with almost nothing if he calls and loses. So here. he has thirty-five thousand in front of him. It looks like he let out and then wash up. Like that's so strong. I think if Dan checks and Wall just does a continuation bet, Dan ships. Yeah. You no, know? but now yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, this is so gross. Well, I honestly I mean, have no idea what he's gonna do at this point. You Top know. Pair, second kicker. He I mean, folds. He's I think only he said beat. he's folding. He's. He's beat by an overpair. I mean, Waugh is definitely repping it. Definitely repping it. It's a great play by Waugh. Yeah. Very, I mean, sick he play. Yeah. Very nice, Waugh. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Yeah. We're really yeah. starting to see some of the capabilities Very of the nice. players on the table at this point. Yeah, and he's one of the ones I did not know, so uh, yeah, it's cool to see him. Off bounce for Waugh. He's a yeah. good player. <laughs> You know, we have a, uh, a weekly tournament here when we're not in our series on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. Just a little $75 shooter. Walt plays almost every one. He, uh, he does excellent in them. A lot of, makes a lot of final tables. It's a great value. We get about uh, 120 to 130 for 75 first places, typically between 1500 and 2000 uh, You guys give away a Sunday seat for that one? We do. Yep, 350 for the last Sunday seat. That's now a 40 k guarantee. And as of last month, yeah. our final table is on the live stream. So That's awesome. you make the final table, you could be playing on this TV table. I mean, you really can't go wrong playing here, you guys. They're they're always no just uh, adding money to the pot for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an extra thirty three thousand dollars. Who could complain about that? <laughs> we got Omaha jackpots. Just giving it away over here. We do. We give away a lot of money, and uh, it, it's one of the things about a, a great poker room. You know, awesome. you come in, yeah. you know, not only it's can you play place. good poker and win, but you can get a little bonus cash as well. Speaking of bonus cash, I know. Uh, Wall wakes up with queens here. After that sick bluff. Right after the bluff. Well, yeah. Raises to uh, thirty-nine thousand. 
in early position too. I mean, this looks very strong. Chang with pocket oh, threes, Chang. calls. Oh, he just flat? Looked yeah, like flat it, yeah. Okay. I was afraid he was gonna make Chris a move gets there. away. Azan with ace 10. What you thinking, Azan? You've been quiet for a while. I mean, 23,000 to win uh, 118. Worth you know, it? He's, Are the he's odds right? He's four and a half to one to call. Um, he is out of position. He might be uh, picking a spot here. And we know statistically with pocket queens, an ace is more likely to flop, right? Yes. <laughs> it's, I think it's like 10 times more likely or something. <laughs> that sounds I about right. Exact numbers, I think Azan raised. Yeah, it looks like he uh, he wow. thought this might be a good spot. Um, maybe because Wall just I don't know looked like you know he just made that move on Dan. Maybe he's uh, what does Wall do up here? A bit here, but he's, that looks like the all-in face. All-in uh, sniff, <laughs> sniff, scratch. That's sniff, his tell right there. Sniff, sniff scratch, scratch, rub the head. Rub, shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, Chang's behind him. That makes this a, a much more difficult spot to be in. Well, I think I think that makes it a call or shove situation. Zahn raised to 96,000. I mean, that's... It's a pretty big raise. Yeah. Um, Azan has not been playing hands. So Was Wall, talking to himself. Yeah. Wall <laughs> wants to give him credit, you know? Like, Azan has earned this credit. Um, this is very so suspenseful. What do you do with yeah. Queens? I think it's a fold or shove. I, yeah, I, I'm going to go with shove. He can't really flat because. He has Chang behind and he just can't. I mean, little does he know, if he shoves here, he probably takes the pot down right away. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he has a, like two times pot behind, right? There's like 200,000 in there. You should play with the big boys over here. He has 426 left. What do you think? You think this is like one of the Jason McRoberts uh, situations? Like, just like puke shove? <laughs> I. I think so. Like, like pocket queens is such a tough guy to get away from. It. But here's the thing: it but is for his tournament life, and Azan has been quiet been so for a tight. long time. That's like the only reason I think he considers folding here. Azan has definitely just a call. Wow. Just a call. Flats. Let's so see a now flop. This is sick because Chang can now call and set mine. Yeah, great Hold spot on. for Chang. Yeah, yeah, with his stack. <laughs> so. He's what if Chang ships it? <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine that? I don't think he will, but that would be pretty no, sick. No, it looks like it looks like they're both super strong. The so. chat room is not happy with Wa's flat call. Everyone wanted him to shut there. Um, you know, it's a little different in the hot seat, you know. He's like. It's much easier to play this game when you can see everyone's cards, right? True story. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, maybe he's thinking uh, he could have Ace King, Azan could have Ace King. I don't want to flip for, you know, whatever, 30 big blinds or something. Yeah. Um, why don't I just see a flop, make sure no Ace or King flops. Well, it looks like we, we get to see the flop. Three-way action. This might be that big hand we've been waiting for. And what do we got? The 10 hits, that's bad for Azan actually. It makes him look like his But Azan really has to know that Wa has a monster. Does he? Does he have to? I don't know. I, he I could don't. just flat, but. Yeah. I would be pretty happy with Ace 10. Oh but Azan is going to bet it too. He's not waiting around on this one. This is a I fantastic mean, spot for Wa. Yeah. Azan's three bet is basically saying, I mean, he could have Easter King, so he would lead the spot. Uh, yeah, I think Wall just gets it in on the 10-high flop. Yeah, I mean, that's the is. plan. That's why he... Playing it safe, right? He's yeah. flatting to make sure an Easter King doesn't hit. You know, it's just like a safe, safe play. So now we're happy with this play. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying that's the, that's the only way he does that. I didn't like it because Chang's behind him. I like then a ten nine three flop, you know, and Chang's just like ship it. I wonder if a song can call here. 
he's in really bad shape, but I mean, looking at that board. He does have 28%. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, this is pretty sick. He would have rather, uh, like, whiffed it completely and maybe just gave up. I don't know. <laughs> I think it just, it really looks like jacks or queens. Hazan is savvy enough of a it, player to figure this out, though. The problem, yeah, it could also be, t uh, well, maybe not tens. It's hard to put him on tens because Hazan has a ten in his hand. But he could easily have nines in this spot, too. So nines, tens, yeah. jacks, queens, they're all beating you. He's probably not fighting kings. We have to keep in mind, too, how active Wa has been lately. It's true, he's been you know? so active. I mean, Azan hates this spot, but... Uh, He's counting his chips out. You gotta know how much will I have left. Yeah, and he might, you know, try to get a little read on Wall. Um, but the fact that Azan looks so strong this hand, I think makes Wall's shove super strong. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he can call that. <laughs> count them again, Azan. Count them again. Keep counting. Keep counting. <laughs> it might be different next time. <laughs> you know what? I will say it's really hard to figure out how many chips you have with the plaques. Really? For some reason, I uh, Just you're not could used not to it, figure probably. out because it's like uh, 25, right? Uh -huh. And then 10 and five. I don't know. Just stack I'm them in fours. Confused. Like he, he just stacked them out. I never had four, that four, many. Four, so. four. Oh. <laughs> well, just ask Azan. I'm sure this will be in his book when he writes it. <laughs> Yeah, well, when I got the plaques, I had just taken a big hit to my stack, so I was very confused about The, the chat room is saying he has to call. They're giving him no choice. Really? Yeah. I don't know. He's getting, um... He's getting two to one. I mean, if he thinks he's crushed, it's 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 such a big hit on his stack. Yeah. 254 to call. He has, like, what, 800,000? Uh-huh. That's... Yeah, that's, that's a painful. third of his stack, and he has a huge stack. He, he called? Looks like he called. That's sick. All right, we get to see what happens here. Azan, not uh, not out of it yet. He can still hit one of the yeah. three remaining aces or the ten for the win here. That, that ace of diamonds is a little enticing. A diamond on the turn would open him up a little, too. Okay, seven is no help. Now he's 12%, still looking for three aces or a ten. And here comes the river card. Ten. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. And it's a deuce. Wah picks up a sizable pot, and now we're on a 10 minute break. Wow. Uh, so, for everyone huge. in the chat room, everyone watching at home, on the road, hopefully not driving and watching, <laughs> uh, we're going to take a quick breather and we'll be back in about nine minutes. So, enjoy the commercials or any footage that we'll be scrolling. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Oh, you caught us off guard. We were just, uh, <laughs> okay. we're, we're jumping into the chat room just a little bit. Uh, something that I, I just wanted to type in there to give it up for Val. A lot of you might not know, but Val and I talked about a week ago about her doing an audition to be a, one of the commentators for Stones Live as we move forward. We're bringing in some new talent. And uh, tonight is actually Val's audition. Yeah. And I think she's doing fantastic. <laughs> If you guys think she's doing fantastic in the chat room, let us know. Should we bring her on the team or not? Whereas tonight she's working for free, too. So another thing, uh, come on down, buy her some drinks, because I think that she really deserves it, and I want to give so Val a thirsty. hand. Good job, Val. Thank Good job. You. Thanks, yeah. guys. We, looks like we might have a ways to go still. I mean, uh, eight players remaining, and uh, here we are. The players are getting some hands. We're back to the action. So let's take a look. A really exciting final table with a lot of talent. Well, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, boo, kick her off. Kick her off. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, let's get his name. We'll find him later. We'll take care of him. <laughs> you got a two thumbs up. Uh, 
couple people happy that you busted out love? so you could be here. Where's my love in the chat? Hey, you're getting plenty of, plenty of love. Plenty of love. All right, here we go. We got us on with 7-4. I think he's going all in. Oh, wait. That's not where the action is. All right. Raise to 45,000 with pocket ace from Wa. He's going to take down an easy pot. Man, it will be uh, interesting to see how the dynamic changes here because uh, Wa has one million now. Wa uh, started off uh, in not the best shape. Started off as one of the Wa came sets. in with 221,000. And now he's almost the chip leader. First break up to post chip lead. Crazy. It just goes to show you how the stacks can shift and change as the oh, game yeah. moves along. Yeah. Uh, it's really still anybody's game at this it point, really though. Is. Like, uh, I mean, the thing about still... poker is you can play a perfect game and you can still get unlucky and lose. Yeah. Yeah, man. Wall's making me wish I would have just folded my eight. <laughs> and tried to just, like, fold Short stack to the final table. <laughs> short, short stack ninja. <laughs> All right, next hand coming out. I see Wa with pocket fours. Hey, that those good hands have shifted from Ryan in seat one yeah. over to Wa in seat two. Man, he's been doing some work at this final table. We lost Cobra in ninth. <laughs> he's the only one we lost today. I just have to go to the chat room. What happened? Poker Pro Eric. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, Val is terrible for Sacktown poker. She doesn't lose enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will try to make you happy here, Eric. She lost yesterday. That can't possibly be. Well, not, not a real lose, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was sitting to my left um, for a little bit. Poker pro Eric? Yeah, yeah. Is he a real pro? It has to be his chat name is Poker Pro. It has it's to be. It's in his title. Right. You can't lie, that'd be false advertising. <laughs> Chat room saying Chris needs to pick a spot and get it in. I mean, it's getting pretty short, right? Maybe two hundred thousand. He, Pocket uh, fours against nine five. Pocket four still in the lead, seventy four percent, but not a fantastic board for Wa, especially now he's sitting on a big stack. How does that change his play? Especially if it's another big stack, does he get more conservative? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I'm wondering. Like, I'm oh, wondering Jesus. how it's, nice it's going to play out. Uh, great lead there by Ryan. I mean, yeah. he, he sensed Excellent. some weakness with Wa. Uh, Wa's just been running over the table, but he's had good hands. Um, and we can see now he's capable of folding, too. So. Yeah, and it's one of those spots like, come on, Wa, you just chipped up so much. Just fold to me. <laughs> right. Ryan with a commanding lead, 1.5. Wa now in second place. Jason with 900,000. And Azan down to a little over a half a million. Azan needs to start making a comeback here soon. Chris sitting on the short stack looking for a spot to shove in, double up his stack, and get back into the competition here. Yeah, I mean, uh, Chris and Anthony are still in the short stacks, right? Pretty close. So Anthony so, yeah. has uh, 253,000, blinds are 10,000, 20,000, 3,000, Annie. Is that true? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> 10, 20, 3,000. So. Wa has quite the following here in the chat room. Yeah, Anthony basically has like 12 big blinds, and, um, you know, there's, it's just very expensive every round. So Wa's got some love in the chat. Yeah, I think he's, uh, a, he's a local. He's a. He is. Local hero, right? And he, he has a pretty aggressive style. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I really hadn't played with him somehow. I guess we avoided each other or something. Azan taking the opportunity, knowing he's got big cash, to get a little massage action going here at the there table. I have to say, if I was in his spot, I'd probably be doing the same thing. That sounds wonderful. Especially Chris has picked a spot. Big loss. Queen Jack. Chris is in. 140,000. Yeah, Good luck, Chris. And he has to shut there, yeah. I think with the hands out there, he's got a good shot of taking it down. Jason capable of calling with that 9-8, especially with the stack he has, but he's asking for a count. True. I mean, it's, uh, what, six? Yeah, it's exactly six more big blinds to call. I think he's getting two to one, right? Two. Yeah, he's getting about two to one. Um, it's definitely not a terrible call. <laughs> It's a 60-40, right? Yep. Uh, 57, I mean, 43. Yeah, he's, he's got to think that basically, you know, Chris has two overs and it's 60-40 and he's getting two to one. So the math is right there. It's just a matter of do you 
you know, do you gamble and try to take out Chris or, you know, with the risk of giving him more chips, you know? Because he is a dangerous player with more chips. Yeah, he's gonna let it go. He just doesn't really need to risk that many chips. Um, <laughs> yeah, you hear Jason say, I wanted to. He definitely wanted to. He, he knows the math is about there. Um, just not necessary. Um, you know, Jason has close to 900k. He doesn't want to take a 100k hit, especially to Chris. <laughs> So you can see that poster behind there, it's a little cut off, that's this right here. This is the Hydra, it's uh, Stone's mini series that's coming up. You can go to the website and check it out. There's six entry flights for only a $200 buy-in, $100,000 guaranteed. The structure is awesome, it's gonna be posted online tomorrow after we take all of our series stuff down. We run a special custom structure for it. It is uh, gonna be a fantastic event, we're keeping 15% of the field. Day two's all in the money, just like this one. Nice. So I really it's, like that, yeah. it's got a slightly flatter payout, but still yeah. a, a good payout for first place. And with a two hundred dollar buy-in for a hundred thousand dollar guarantee, it's really hard to beat. Oh, yeah. really hard to beat. That's great. It's awesome. Plus, like, look at all the fish that play here. You know. I know, right? <laughs> Super easy. <laughs> so check it out. Go online. Check it out. Check it out on Twitter. We we post a lot of updates about it as it gets closer. The Hydra is going to be a great event. Six entry flights. That's a. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, April 8th, 9th, and 10th, with the following week for the final two days of the event. That's cool, and then uh, you can play multiple day, day ones if you want. Totally and, can, uh, yeah. Carry over. If uh, you double best. qualify, yeah. yeah, the biggest stack goes forward, yeah. and you get a min cash payout for your small stack. That's awesome. So, I mean, you can cash twice. Like, who you could cash three or four times. Doesn't want to try to do that. I'm going to see how many stacks I can get through. <laughs> right. Play every day. <laughs> All right, so everyone pretty much had garbage. Uh, yep. Anthony with uh, Jack Nine and Big Blind um, and 230,000. I mean, Jason might want to put some pressure on here with 10 7 off. And. He's capable of it. See what uh, Anthony decides to do here. Oh, it is a raise with 10 7 from Jason. 60,000, it looks like. Oh, 40,000. I like it. I mean, you know, putting pressure. <laughs> It kind of looked like he was going to go because he like, looked at the dealer. <laughs> I went 60, it, but... 40, it was 50 though. I was all around <laughs> okay. it. Looks like... They both catch a little piece of this flop. Mm -hmm. Anthony catches the better piece, but can't be too happy about this. Yeah, he's uh... <laughs> be... Let's see. 124,000 in there now. Um, Anthony only has 200 behind. I have... A hard time seeing Anthony get away from this hand, actually. You know, Jason... Even against a, Jason, right? Jason makes a continuation bet. I mean, more often than not, Anthony has the best hand he can just shove. Yeah, he, he ships it. He ships it. There's just too much in there. He has a pair. Guys, it's hard to make a pair in this game. <laughs> Especially a big one like middle pair. You know, blind versus blind, it's just one of those spots, you know, Anthony's like, all right, if you got it, you got it, Jason. Uh, let's see. I think I think that's a great spot for yeah. Anthony to do what he did. I, I have no problem with this play there. It's just uh, so likely that he's ahead here. And the other thing is, with Jason thinking about it for so long, what has to be going through his mind right now? It's is probably he, a good shot. Yeah. Or, or is he doing this with, like, queens? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are we about to hear? Tank call with Jackson are we about to hear a huge Jackson. story from Jason about why he You're called? You're gonna hear a story no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> like, 100%. Jason's going to be talking after the sand. Either about like, I mean. <laughs> Like, somebody played well, somebody played bad, and you're going to hear about it from Jason. And I can't wait. I, I like Jason's wait. stories. I like them. I love it. <laughs> like, some people are kind of tilted by it, and they're like, what's wrong this guy? And I'm like, it's hilarious. <laughs> 
130. Uh, they're just uh, continuing to talk about how amazing you are. I want you to see, because your head's already big enough. Don't look over there. Don't look over there. <laughs> You guys enjoying this final table? This is awesome. Oh my gosh. It's been amazing. It's like, it's a little bit slow just because they're so good. <laughs> That's actually uh, a really, really good the, point. The right That's word, a good point. But everyone's so good. Like, no one's really yeah. making. And also going into day two, we had a, uh, it was either a two or three level rollback. I can't remember right now because day two begins at the beginning of the earliest level yeah. and the final uh, flight, 1D, yeah. actually had the most players and oh ended the earliest. Yeah. yeah. So the earlier players that played in the smaller flights got a huge advantage to actually start a couple levels before where they had previously ended. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think I repeated. Maybe one and a half even. Plus the levels are longer yes. on the second day. Yeah. So it was like it's a huge bonus. It's like going back in the past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was expecting the blinds to be bigger. And right. I was like, oh hold on, I have fifty big blinds to start. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have thirty. Right. Big difference. It does. It, it changes the way that it plays. But I think it I think considering that the earlier days had much smaller fields, it really kind of leveled everything yeah, out, yeah, you know, yeah. because right. those there weren't as many chips to play, so there weren't as many opportunities for huge stacks. To, to chip up but a then lot. those yeah, exactly. early guys still got an opportunity to yeah. get some play because the blinds yeah, now were smaller. Yeah, they got to repeat level yeah. to level. Yeah, that's it, it was definitely that's huge. That's pretty awesome. And so are we still waiting a, on Jason here? Yeah, it makes for uh, such a good. Like a deep final table, you know. I'm gonna call a clock on Jason. Clock. Can we get a 60 second clock on him? 20 minutes ago. This is ago. ridiculous, 20 Jason. 20 minutes ago, 60 second clock. Start you now. know your other seven's <laughs> coming. Just put your chips in there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I mean. Is that influencing action? <laughs> one player per hand. Justin. Damn one it. One player per hand. Thank God they're in the past. <laughs> Can we influence the past? <laughs> I think we could. Right? Hmm. Uh, have you not seen Back to the Future? I've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is interesting. Um, so there's 364,000 in there. There's only 160k to call. So are you guys saying he has to call? <laughs> uh, the chat room, I think they want him to call in there. They say call or fold. What do you think? <laughs> I think he just very strongly feels like he's beat. Um, because the thing is, if, if Anthony wasn't waiting to flop a, a pair, he would have just shipped pre flop, right? Right. So he can't think that. What do you do? He calls. Good, he calls. You know, he's still getting three to one, so. What's that little trick? Little oh, trick there. Is that a. Did he just change the card? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a magic trick. Anthony! So well. Boom! So that, That's it. Anthony boom. takes it down. That's a big hand for him. It's easy. That was easy. I could have done that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> yeah. Sure you could have. 100%. You could have played that hand. <laughs> Even Justin could have played that Even hand. Even Justin. <laughs> you guys, come on. Poker is so easy. <laughs> big final table. 44,000 on the line. Every decision's easy. Only. You forgot to say only. 44,000 only. Just. Um, yeah, I really like Anthony's flat call pre-flop. See a flop in position against Jason with your very fragile stack, you know? Um, and flop, flop middle pair. That was step two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> step two, flop middle pair. Wait, hang so on. Free ship it. Oh, I take notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take notes. Oh, wait, with my stones pen. Take notes. Taking notes with the stones pen. Call raise in position against call. Jason. Call Ray's in position. I won't, I won't pick on Jason. It doesn't even matter. Just call Ray's in position. Flop middle pair. Flop middle pair. Got it. <laughs> what else? Snap ship. <laughs> uh, okay. Send it. Send it. And send it. And got send it. Send it. Okay. Got there it. Everyone go. got it? There. For the camera. All right. Boom. That's how you do it. Right there. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> oh, step four. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to the middle pair. You know pair. what's been very strange about this, this final table is uh, mm, Chris is sending it now. Good hands are holding up. That's true. Yeah. We have not really seen bad beats. Chris uh, King Jack suited so and he likes it. 
He likes it. I'm predicting a win for Chris. King four, jack six, can't call. Yep. That's Justin, the poker predictor, the solid poker predictor. Prediction. <laughs> this guy is so clairvoyant. It's, it's amazing. amazing. It, it, it really does make a big difference when you can see the whole cards. I feel like if I played <laughs> and I was able to see people's cards, I would run much better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think there's like a poker theorem that talks about that. You and your big words. <laughs> <laughs> a poker theorem. <laughs> According to my calculations. <laughs> if you know what the other person has. This uh, this is just perfectly. <laughs> this is just amazing with with eight players remaining and the chips just kind of shifting around. We're not seeing like a lot of huge action, even though there's been some hands where there could have been great action, because all of these players are so intuitive. They're, they're just so in touch with what's going on at the table. Uh, but now Chris livening up, ace king. He's getting a run of cards and he is gonna take advantage of it. Well, the timing is so good because he just shoved with uh, king jack. Right. And now the very next hand he shoves, the thing is, like these these players are so savvy that usually when someone does that, a lot of times they're very strong the second time. Right. You know. Right. Because they're like, oh, I just did this. Look at Chris. Look Someone's at that poker face. Did you see that? Uh, but Jason has ace jack. I mean, little, we got a little smirk from Chris. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. I wish we could roll it back. It was and good. Some, like gun action. It was good. No guns this time. Oh. Wow. No, sho no shoulder check. No shoulder check. Just, just, just the straight smirk. Straight smirk. Um, so Jason... Wow. I got a prediction in the chat room for Jason to snap call. But he has not done that. No, I don't Prediction think... fail. <laughs> Your predictions are already wrong. Um, yeah, I mean... Tough spot for Jason. Here's the thing, if Jason close. calls with Ace Jack, he's gonna win. True. <laughs> That's just how Jason runs. Plus there haven't been any bad beats like you said, and you just We're due. said it. We're due, yeah. <laughs> I definitely jinxed them. Um, oh, he just sends it, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. He's going all in. Yeah, it's basically, um... Just to get heads up. Folder shove, right? Yeah, Chang can't call. He has to think he's ahead of Chris's shoving range here. Um, well, this is good news for Chris. With 12 big blinds. Unless a Jack comes out. Chris yeah. is uh, yeah. Chris is pretty happy about this call, I'm sure. Um, be interesting to hear Jason's uh, rundown on this. This uh, if <clears throat> if Chris holds, this actually changes things a lot. I mean, it gives a really competent player chips to work with. Yeah, and takes away a lot from Jason. All right, no help to either. <clears throat> Chris still in the lead, Jason 74 much, to win. He just needs a jack here. Jack on, I mean, there's three of them left. We got a nine on the turn, Maybe. and... <clears throat> one card, and Chris doubles up. One card left to come. Chris, come on, he's like, come on. Chris no need like... to see a river. <laughs> no need. <laughs> All right, there it is, ace king. Good job, Chris. No job. Gonna stay in the game, <laughs> so doubling that's a up. Huge double for Chris. Changes uh, things quite a bit. Yeah. And Jason, <laughs> that pot. Jason, one of our shorter stacks now, 390. Um, that was a pretty quick. Um, you know, yeah, he was at 900. Whoa, to his stack, so. But here's the thing about Jason. I, I mean, he's a roller coaster ride. He'll yeah. go up and down and up and down, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Look at Zahn, it just has a stack of plaques. It like doesn't look like much in chips, but actually, that's, what a mouse. that's quite a bit. He's like, he doesn't bet his plaques, he just bets the chips, yeah. he saves the plaques. You ain't getting my plaques. <laughs> Still eight players remain at this final table for the Stones Championship Series. Plenty of money still to be won. Next player out getting $5,208. First place tonight, $44,000. Pocket change. Pocket change. Yeah. Uh, we haven't had a bust out in a while. Uh, Cobra busted a while ago. Yeah, that's been a little bit. Nice run for Cobra. 
job on the final table. Cobra is super solid player. So solid. Uh, I mostly see him playing cash games. Oh yeah. And, crushing, uh, crushing, crushing cash them. games. Yeah. Crushing them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he walked away with 4160. Not a bad payday. Jason, Jason has his queens. This might be the spot where he doubles up. Gets back in the action. Queen Jack could come along. Uh, and Queen Deuce suited? It's maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. It's uh, such good timing. You see that? It's, I missed it. it I missed it. It's a fake tilt, fake tilt race. <laughs> I love it. I'm a big fan. All right, Jason pumps it up to fifty thousand, and is that a call from yeah, Chris? Chris is gonna defend here. Ooh. The big blind. Chris, you're in trouble, uh, buddy. 10%. Oh. You're in trouble. He uh, flops some gutters. Uh oh. Uh oh. You know, that ace might slow the action down. Um, yes. If Chris is intuitive enough here to bet, he could even win it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Jason. Okay, oh, he Jason's going to check. Yeah. Get to see another card here. Very it is sick turn too for Jason. Four I mean, of spades. Like this, you know, Chris is like, hold on, can I steal this? Oh, and Jason we got a again. five of spade on the another river, but spade. no one holding a spade. So Queens are sick. still good, but that will really yeah, slow oh, action man. down. Yeah, no, he's like, no oh, bluffy, no bluffy he's got bluff. the queen. Got the queen. Chris is like, ah, I missed, All right. I missed a couple. Uh, I missed a couple Chris bets. looking at that going, I could have stole this pot. Oh, yeah. I could have totally I'm stole this pot. At least consider it. Oh, Jason was going to be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a run bat right there. Oh, man. How do you win with queens there and have spade? Run better, Jason. All right, so the chat room is now talking about the massage lady. Guys, she's a dollar a minute. That's all. Come in, play at Stones. You want a massage right at the table, dollar a minute. I think it is guaranteed to bring you luck in the game, too, if well, you're getting yeah. a massage, right? It makes Super you get better lucky. cards. Yeah. I mean, I run up like my best stacks here with a uh, When you're getting a massage. massage. Yeah. Nice. Including yesterday. Was it yesterday? I keep saying yesterday, but I'm like, was it yesterday? Yeah, day two. Okay. Yeah. You don't remember? It feels like two days ago. <laughs> You're just trying to put it as far in the past the as possible. The day was kind of a long day. So. Right. <laughs> Twenty thousand for water call. He says no, thank you. Not Who raised it? Not. Who raised it? Uh, oh, it's twenty thousand to go. No oh. one raised it. <laughs> Ten and twenty thousand blinds. So these guys not even willing to come in for just the blinds with these hands. Uh, that looks like a raise. Dan raises it up to fifty thousand. Uh, He's on the button. It's a good spot to raise. He's got Did the mystery cards. Ooh. Mystery cards. Could awesome. be anything. Um, it's interesting that he makes it fifty thousand with only one hundred sixty-five behind. Why is that? I mean, usually this is either. Uh, Super strong, like aces, and he doesn't want to kill his action. Uh -huh. Or he's just trying to steal the blinds, and if anyone comes over the top, he just folds. So it's pretty polarized here. Azan's that looks like, like an over the top. See what you got. And, and he snap fold. Yeah. Snap fold. Yeah. So it was the latter. How do you know all these things? <laughs> you predicted exactly what would happen there. That's scary. Uh, <laughs> I would not want to play poker with you. <laughs> You're like, you have 10 jack I was just guessing. Oh. It was random Good guess. Good guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he's trying to get away with stealing the blinds with a fragile stack. Um, you know. What if he just puts it all in there? What if he just puts it all in? Is that a good play? Well, we didn't see what he had, right? I don't think so. So, I don't know. Um, I don't think it's terrible to, to shove there with super short stack, but, you know, credit Dan for trying to get it in good. Dan for said once. on a pretty short... <laughs> Easy. Just Whoa. kidding, man. I'm just oh. kidding. Oh! Burn. Totally joking, totally joking. <laughs> I never beat Dan. That's not my money. <laughs> uh, you made me forget what I was going to say. Man, I, I cannot believe that sick burn. <laughs> burn. I, I feel like I've been way too nice in here. You know, get mean. That makes it more fun. Get mean. Uh, just pick someone. Start talking trash I about them. I'm final table. I come in, I'm on the ice. <laughs> no more Mrs. Nice Girl. That's right. <laughs> All right, so we got Ryan with ace nine off, Anthony with king jack suitor. Oh, I like this matchup. 
So Anthony Five, open, Ryan seven, flat, right? Seven, seven. This is likely a flop that I would have hit if I was in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Ship it to trip, Justin. That's right. There's an open seat there. I'm just going to go take <laughs> it. Let's guess it now. $53,000, I think I heard. Yeah. From Anthony. Yeah, pretty, I mean, it's a standard continuation bet here um, on a pretty dry board. With the board pairing, less likely for Ryan to have hit. You know, Ryan's like, I'm pretty sure I have the best hand, but what do I do? <laughs> pretty hard for him to continue here out of position. <laughs> no chopping allowed. Actually, at this point, they have played a total of three hours. They can vote for a chop. It's up to them now. Mm. Um, we only require three hours of play from the table. Nice. So it's their decision now, but I so have a feeling allowed. eight ways it's not going to happen. Probably not eight-way chop. Yeah. Probably not. Oh, uh, so Ryan goes ahead and puts in the old check razor rooney. Is that the official term for it? <laughs> the Czech Rays a Rooney. On Anthony, I'm not even drinking. I think that's guys. something else I need to write <laughs> down. Czech Rays a Rooney. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, and Anthony uh, lays it down. Good. Good play. Yeah. Good instincts there. Czech Rays a Rooney works. By Ryan. Yeah. Um. I think Ryan just sensed that Anthony has um, a pretty fragile stack now. And it just felt like a standard continuation bet. He could have a wide range. Um, and if he shoves there, Ryan just folds. Good move, Ryan. You get a and question in Ryan. the chat room. They want to know who your favorite player in day 1D was. Because I feel like I can answer this for Val. Uh, yeah, can you just answer for me? Because I don't know the field. It was Val. It was Val. Day 1D? Oh, you weren't no, in 1D. No, I was in 1D. Oh, okay. Okay, well, 1C, her favorite player was Who played? herself. Who played? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, day 1C, my, my favorite player was the Jake. <laughs> the Jake? It's a good call. <laughs> like I said, this is the first final table for Stone's Life Jake has made. <laughs> at the same table. Jake, clearly a very solid player. Solid. Would have been great to have him here at this final I table. I was hoping he was going to final table the WPT, but. He, he did pretty good. He had a good run. Yeah, he, he was had a very good run. I got a Snapchat of him flopping quads, turning quads. Hit the old quad draw. <laughs> so why, why, why was that question? Who was, uh, who was in 1D? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so Chris has Ace Jack and 460,000 chips. I hear re-raise. Re that's Chris. So who opened? 165,000. That is 75. The call. Our action tracker is not up to date, but we do know that Chris has made it 70, uh, an additional 75,000. Somebody 000. opened. It had to have been Anthony or uh, It looks Dan. like Chang. Chang with the oh. mystery card. 75,000. Chris pops it up to 165. Oh. Wa gets away from 97. <laughs> now we back to Chang. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, uh, Chris with Ace Jack Chang with mystery cards, but uh, Chris's raise has put in looks like almost all of Chang's stack, if, if not all of it. So I mean, this this yeah. could be for Chang's tournament life here. Such a big open for Chang to not be continuing here. Um, and it is kind of fun that we don't know what he has now. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> um, so he opened. Yeah, I mean, hard for him to continue without a crazy oh, hand here. Oh, he's gonna get away from it, so, all right. So, I mean, it could have been another uh, similar situation with like Dan, what Dan did trying earlier. to steal. Yep. But for, for me, it felt like stronger. Like he really just wanted to take it down without seeing a flop. Um, you know, like a small pair or a, a weak suited ace, something like that. He just wants to take it down. Uh, but can't really stand up to pressure. We have a couple short stacks here. I, I think we're yeah. gonna see some spots being picked pretty soon here. Yeah, I would agree. Chang's pretty short after that. Um, yeah, that hurt him. Good spot for Chris to raise there.
you know, it, it was most likely a, like a coin flip. Uh, with chain with like a small pair or something, but he just doesn't want. He's not going to call off for his term in life. I'm just conjecturing. Honey, honey. Again with the big words. <laughs> I use big words when I'm talking gibberish, so people don't notice. I like to use big words sometimes so that people think I'm more photosynthesis. <laughs> So I was thinking the same thing just now. I'm like, I might be the most photosynthesis person you know. <laughs> and look at all the sunlight we have. <laughs> I feel, yeah, like oh, this is... so much water? Yeah, it's here. I'm ready to grow. <laughs> well, what just happened? I thought I saw Ace King, and now it's gone. Maybe they hold it. Who knows? Jason uh, is looking to call 30,000 with Ace Jack. Dan raised it up to 50,000, 30 more on top of the blinds. Oh, we got some hands popping back in there. I don't know what's going on here. Our screen's going crazy, guys. All right. Bear with us. We'll get back in the action. Okay, Chris raised to 50,000. That makes sense. There's the ace king. The ace king. Jason, Gosh, 30 just more to call. Ace king like every other hand. That I think all you have to do is ask the dealer for it, right? I think so. It's <laughs> amazing. Um, wow, this is the exact same situation. Remember Ace King versus Ace Jack? Maybe we're viewing the previous hand that happened before. <laughs> Maybe the stream is glitched. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, but the stacks are different. Yeah, no, you're right. No, All right, you're right. Like, it's just history repeats itself, Justin. <laughs> it really does. You didn't know? It really does. I thought there were no two hands Here's that were proof. alike. Here's but, your proof. But in this case, there wow, are. Wow, this is amazing. Um, so, gosh, it's like such a similar spot, right? Except this time, this time, Chris has Jason covered. And uh, Jason's going to get some bad news here. After three betting. Wow. <clears throat> wow. What's Chris do? Just call? Oh, he's grabbing a handful of blacks. Um, okay, Chris is not screwing around. 20,000. There's 200,000 in the pot. Chris is counting Chris down his stack. Uh, he's not screwing around here. Yeah. Um, two hundred thousand in there. He is three thirty-eight behind. He has to just send it right out of position. What's he gonna do? I feel Fly like he would. Yeah. On a ten-high flop. The he's chat room's calling for a shove. I, yeah, I think no. I think he's uh he might be tanking a little just to make sure that Jason calls with Ace Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think he's he's just that sick maybe. Yeah. Is on feeling good. <laughs> Chris looking to the masseuse for some help. <laughs> He's like, I wish I was getting massaged right now, but it's a snap shove. <laughs> so much good luck with those massages. Yeah, you guys gotta get down here for the massages. They're so good. Okay, I'm like, is he considering anything? I think he has to ship here. How many big blinds does he have behind? Are they, uh... Are they... Yeah. Well, Chris goes all in. It's back to Jason. I can't Can say... Can you call an all in with Ace Jack? I can't say for sure, but I feel like it was a little bit of a fake tank just to get Jason to call. Yeah, of I could see that. I could definitely see that. You know? Okay. Jason's like, really, dude? Again? That's even. It's even in the chat room. They're saying Hollywood to make sure he gets called. Yeah. Let's see if it's gonna work here. It's on Jason to decide if he wants to call off his entire stack with Ace Jack. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think Jason can get rid? Of, can uh, get away from this? Honestly, with Jason, it's gonna depend on the read that he makes. Yeah. What he thinks is going on here. I think he can fold. Oh. 
against Chris. I mean, he's getting two to one, right? But that said, it's first tournament life, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Kaka, Kaka, or her fold? Uh, uh, I said, rest in peace, Jason. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so dirty. Oh, oh man. Ellie. Jason might get away from this, or he could call and flop a jack. That would be my strategy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a terrible strategy. <laughs> if it works, right? Just, just cash in that 31%. <laughs> that seems a little high. I don't know, I think that's about right. 70 30 for a copied card, right? <laughs> How do you put the quick and dirty yeah, mouse? There's some, uh, there's some <laughs> I mean... Keep it cool, Chris. Show the guns. What, what did he the just The guns do? will intimidate him. Why was he standing up? Ugh, don't call me. Yeah, he looks pretty so Maybe he wants to call him. Uh, who knows what he's trying to say to <laughs> Um, I mean, pretty sick for, for um, J-Mac here to call off. I mean, what is he hoping that Chris has? Tens, nines, he's hoping for a coin flip, right? Right, he wants a flip. Because if he has an ace, it's got to be beating him, right? Well, yeah. One would think. Uh, it's definitely beating him. Well, we know that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we know that. That was a joke, you guys. It's, I mean, poker's really easy when you can see the cards. I know, I, I actually, I think I want to play this way from now on. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to play with cards face down anymore. Okay. Open face no, Chinese? Now, now yeah. the chat room's calling yeah. for a clock. <laughs> yeah, clock. We're ready to call the clock too, but we can't history, do it, guys. History clock. We can see the table happening live right now, and uh, Jason is still thinking about the hand, it looks like. Yeah. Just kidding. Um. <laughs> so it looks like somebody was saying something about ICM. I didn't want to bring it up, but... Um, yeah, I mean, basically it comes down to he can still fold here mm -hmm. and still have chips to do work with. Um, also, there's a couple short stacks, right? Dan and well, Anthony. Anthony, Anthony got a nice little double up recently. He's not. Okay, he's not as short as he was before. It looks like maybe four hundred sitting in front of him. Yeah, but real hard to call off. Her okay, so life. someone has called a clock. They're putting a, It sounds like sixty seconds on him. So he's gonna get a countdown here. If he if he has not acted, then his hand will automatically be dead. So we're putting Jason to the test here. You need to make a decision, or we're gonna make the decision for you. And the players at the table clearly yeah, taking a moment to get up, walk around, stretch yeah. their legs. I mean, you know, you give a guy a lot of time in a big final table like this. Um, it's for huge a lot hand. of money. It's not like we're playing a fifty dollar tournament. Yeah, you first know? tournament life. You know, yeah. you, you give the man some time. I mean, he does have the tendency to go into the tank and uh, disappear for a little while, but I don't know. Sure. Good pull. We got away from it. All right. All right. So there's, Angry fold. there's See, Jason's he, instincts Don't worry kicking. guys, he made the right fold. Yes. Did he show? He showed. Chris Did he? showed. Wow. A little advertisement oh, from Chris. No, he shouldn't have showed because uh, Jason was about to tilt a whirl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, Jason knew his, his in instincts were right to fold. I think he just hated it. You get lots of love in the chat room right now. Thanks, guys. Uh, actually, someone's already really promised love. you a WSOP bracelet. Sweet. Wow. Are you going to buy me in? <laughs> <laughs> you can satellite in, just like you did this event. <laughs> I, I am pretty good at saddies. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure PLO will be my first bracelet. <laughs> That'd be a good spot for you. Yeah. Well, we have a, a pretty consistent PLO game running here at Stones. I imagine you're going to be uh, showing up for that, right? 
Yeah. Actually, yeah. say no because if you're playing, people want to play. They know they can't beat you. Okay, so come on, I'm a fish. Four cards. Four cards. Um, yeah, I I've been wanting to get in the one three PLO game here. It's been looking it's juicy. pretty sick action. Yeah. yeah, I've been wanting to. I just uh, it just hasn't haven't been able to get here on Monday nights. So. <coughs> Anthony here with some J's. Anthony, man. Nine lives. Which life is he on? Like five? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he knows how to play a short stack, that's for sure. He does, man. I whittled him down pretty short on day two with like 27 left. He just didn't care. Dan S is all in with Ace Jack, and oh, Anthony wow. calls with Jack ball. Jack. So wow. here we go. This could be it for Dan. Uh, he's yeah. going to find an ace or some clubbers. Tournament life on the line. Ace Jack versus Jack Jack. Anthony in great shape here. Sometimes I hate more like going up against only three outs. It just seems like it gets there more, you know. <laughs> it just I think you notice it more when it gets there. Exactly. <laughs> it's science, guys. It's uh, physics or something. Totally. It's like the moon and the tides. <laughs> deuce, deuce, deuce. Okay, great flop for the Jacks. We All still right, got a Anthony's couple cards like, to come. Hold the baby. I mean, it's just a, cool, a cooler spot for Dan. All right, no help on the turn. Dan's going to find an ace here. An ace only for the river. And here it comes. That's it. That's going to do it for Dan. Going out in eighth place, $5,208. Not too bad, though. Eighth Not place bad. out of 336. Good, work, Dan. Good job, Dan. Man, I, I know it hurts, Dan, I love the but. Man. They're work. offering him a beer. That's nice. A little consolation prize on his oh, way out. Watch the, <laughs> the shots are going to start flowing now. <laughs> Guaranteed. I thought they were going to take a shot every time they busted somebody. Uh, I think. Uh, <laughs> That was all talk. All right, that uh, breathes a little life into Anthony's wow. game now. He's Anthony. got some chips. He can uh, actually get in and play a little bit here. This is great. Man, Anthony doing some work. Awesome. He's uh, definitely running it up. <laughs> so we're in the right sweatshirt. Stay true to the name. Stay true right to the hoodie. name. Uh, Anthony started today with two fifty-six thousand. Uh, up to what now? At least double that. I think about half mil. Yeah. Let's take a look. Like he he close to 300,000 to begin that hand. We should get chip counts here in just a moment. Yeah, I mean, that's just a cooler spot for Dan. Um, he uh, Jack suited there with less than 10 digs against Jacks. Okay, so yeah, I was right. He's got a little over half million in chips yeah. now. It's, uh, it was a nice win for Anthony. Put him in a yeah. really good spot. Very nice. Great. I think Chris raised here, yeah. He raised uh, 48,000. 47. Jason with 10 4, can't defend his button. He could, he could. I think this is a real <laughs> tilt now. Yeah. We saw the fake tilt. You're all right, Jason. Jason's a, a fantastic player. Oh yeah, you say what you want, but he, oh, no. he makes a lot of final tables. I think he's great. I yeah. love it. I, great uh, intuition. Just not like the standard, <laughs> like the standard way that most people approach the game, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. No, you guys might think I'm being sarcastic, but like I actually really like Jason. He just he just has no filter. I think it's hilarious. He kind of wears his emotions on his sleeve. But at the same time, like you said, he, he just makes sick reads. He's not afraid to put moves. Yeah. When he has a read. He's a very and, uh, dangerous player. Super dangerous. Very. Yeah. Very dangerous. And he made a great fold with that ace jack. It's just a little frustrating. Um, but he's got to be happy to see Dan Boss there. Um, 
you know, that probably factored into his decision a little bit. You know, there's a what is going on with these cameras right now? This is pretty uh, interesting. This is very scary. Are you guys seeing this too? I feel like this is like a horror movie. Uh -huh. Yeah. Are you guys seeing like a horror movie? <laughs> 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 I'm just going to hit it last night. <laughs> Is, oh, yeah. is there an earthquake going on or what? I'm so scared right now. That's true. It's going to be very bad. Earthquake. Blurry. Yeah. Oh, um, the camera melted on the fan <laughs> pole. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fine now. I think we got it fixed. All right. Good to go. Chris with 10-9, 36,000 to call. Wa has raised a 9-6 suited. Chris in the big blank. Can he defend here? Could you defend here? Yeah, I mean... Nine, nine, ten, I just got the official Jeez. word from our tech team that the earthquake on the camera was from a player spinning the bonus wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so it actually it affected the camera That's and made hilarious. it shake. That's pretty funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it was about that long, like uh, 35 seconds or something. <laughs> yeah, Chris defends here correctly. <laughs> Hard to continue. Um, Wall actually flopped middle set here. Probably enough to continue. Continuation bet. Especially because he could easily have a king. He's like, I do have a pair. It's not a king. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Chris can't continue there. Um, he was hoping for a little bit better flop for his hand. And Wah mixing it up. Wah's very capable of these he, plays. He hadn't played a hand in a while, so. Oh, really? Such a good one. Very nice. <laughs> Wall looks intimidating. Yeah, sure does. Man. Oh, I want to play against him. He looks dangerous. <laughs> Seven players remaining at this final table. Uh, it's been a, a great tournament so far. Action packed, solid players. This could go all night. It could. Do you have to be anywhere? Could you? <laughs> <laughs> Nope, I'm uh, in it for the long haul. Awesome. As long as it's done by last call, I'm okay. I think yeah. we're going to need a drink after this. Yeah. yeah. 45. Let's finish up before last call, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make us drink on the street. <laughs> All you guys in the chat room, come on down once the tournament's over and join us at the bar for a drink. We're going to have a little post-tournament celebration. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite drink? And the winner's buying. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking uh, Moscow Mules. What's that? It's uh, um, vodka and ginger beer with lime. Sounds interesting. It's very good. I would try it. Yeah. I like wine too. So uh, I thought we saw Ryan's hand. I thought it was ace five of clubs. Oh, it flashed for a second and then I, it went unless, down again? Unless that was someone else's hand. Oh, okay. Um, well, we do know that Chris did definitely did not connect with this flop until the turn but uh, no way to know what he's up against with Ryan who uh, still sitting on the the biggest stack Ryan's gonna bet out 50,000 it looks like two plaques and Chris uh, he's got a stack worked up to about 700,000 now pretty yeah. close to it yeah does he Chris uh, calls the 50. he's calling so we got Three a river cards. card we don't know who has the check mark yet Ryan's mystery hand um, if I'm not mistaken, I think he has ace-five. Ace-five? Yeah. Let's see if he can fire another bullet here. Probably not. I mean, Chris's call should usually be a queen or a jack there. Ten jack. Okay, never mind, guys. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, Kicker takes it. 
Check okay. to Chris. Chris, uh, check called 65000 there. So I guess uh, Ryan decided to value bet in the river. Chris. Chris called. There it is. Yes. Now we can see in the action tracker we got the 10 jack, but we already got to see that face up. Ching with seven big blinds left really needs to pick a spot and get it in pretty quick here. Wow, I mean, his patience has paid off. He, uh, he's um, climbing up the ranks, climbing up the uh, payouts. So, seven left. All these players are guaranteed uh, at least $6,612 nice. for their efforts. Not a bad day's work, yeah. or three days' work. Yeah. I don't know, three day grind for If I made six thousand dollars in, in three days, I'd be pretty happy. Yeah. <laughs> if only it was like a regular thing. Right. Regular. Yeah, that's the that's the key right there. And Wall just gets aces again. I mean That's all? It's not even fair. You know, uh, Law is on track to be able to afford a couple new tattoos. Oh yep. man, he's gonna he's gonna have full sleeves next <laughs> time. Can't wait. It's gonna be very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> Four man. Uh, Ryan G, I don't know if he's going to get too frisky with Queen 8 out of position. It is suited, though. That's what I always hear people say at the table. <laughs> but it was suited. It was I had to play. <laughs> uh, you know, he's getting almost 3 to 1. I guess he's going to see Why a not, flop here. Right? Why not? Maybe there's three diamonds come out. He did flop a straight earlier in the night. <laughs> All right, well, this time, a big miss, and Wa is in beautiful shape, so maybe he wants to check and try and let Ryan catch up a little. No, Wa's not into checking. <laughs> oh, that's all? Uh, I don't think you're getting called, Wa. Uh, you're only getting called if he has a set. Yeah. He's like, dealer, don't even count it down. Is yeah. Oh, Wa shows every hand, though, I've noticed that. He just showed aces? Yeah, he just showed them. Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? I don't like it, I mean... You don't in, like the in, show? No, I mean, in a, a rare... Uh, if you're going to do it, you have to have a reason, right? So like maybe, an advertisement. Yeah, maybe Waugh is like, hey guys, I'm not messing around. You and know, then he's going to make call. a big bluff later, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. especially at a final table like this, with the, uh, so much in the middle, every hand, up for grabs. Do you think he was um, just trying to, to make to it look like a steal there? Is that what he was trying to do with the aces? I guess. Maybe make it look like a bluff, like an ace-king. But I feel like if you're going to do that, you know, why not bet smaller so the person has a chance to uh, check raise on a bluff? Look what Jason has. Which, look what Jason has again. Again. Which Ryan has actually that's like, done. That's like his hand. Oh my god. He just, they're attracted to him. Is his name starts with a J? I, do you get a lot of fun checks? <laughs> well, I get them a lot, but I lose with them a lot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Jason doesn't lose with them that much. No, not so much. Wow, he's had them a lot. Um, good timing too. I mean, uh, he's down to three. Oh, he just goes all 000. in. Okay. Yeah, he just opened shots. Just go here. all in. Maybe, There's enough in there. Maybe um, Wall will call him with deuces. Probably not. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Oh gosh. I think that's a tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember There's last time? There that he Hand on the head. Hand it. on the head. What did that oh, mean? What was it like? Scratch. <laughs> it was like sniff, scratch. Pull down your hat. <laughs> 290 to call. This would be a very ambitious call. So hard to win with deuces. Uh, looks like he's <laughs> thinking about it. Unless you're Chang and you just pop a set against Jason's Kings. It's oh, only, maybe that's what he's trying to do. It's only 310,000. It's, it's really easy to flop a set of deuces against Jason. He shows again. He's the show king. He's like, uh, you guys can see my cards and I'm still going to whoop you. <laughs> well, I wonder if uh, the fact that we're all gonna, they're all going to see that his cards anyway plays into it. Although, I don't know if people are... Maybe. No one's watching this stream, right? At the table? Oh, not at the table, no. <laughs> Where they have to I'm actually... You guys. Uh, the rules for the tournament, they actually have to step away from the table to even interact with their okay. phone. So, okay. so, yeah. so there's really they no might way be for them. Some text messages, but... Even, even in that case, they have to step away to look at the text messages. Right. They can't interact with their phones yeah. on this table. I mean, yeah. 
think, I, I don't know. I think it, he's showing a little too much. No, he's having a good time. But, you know, he wants people to know or think that he's playing tight so he can raise with 6 9 yeah. suited and take it down, you know? Exactly. It's not, it's not a terrible strategy. I don't mind that at all. I think Azan's massage is going on its uh, second hour right now. <laughs> Feel like uh, this has been going on for a while. Yeah, Azan's gonna have to win this tournament or get second just to break even on this massage. Just to pay for the massage. <laughs> but she looks like she's doing a great job, so I probably don't even need to say this, but Azan, make sure you tip your masseuse very well. She's an excellent masseuse. Take care of her. Yeah, even even the chat room agrees that uh, a little too much card showing from Wa. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, though, he's he's making it seem with his shows, he's making it seem like he's playing super snug. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not showing the six nine suited, so it makes sense. He's trying to get more credit. Um, you want to be able to steal steal blinds at this table, you know. So. I guess as long as you have a reason. Yeah. Or you just don't care. That's <laughs> a good reason too. <laughs> All right, we got just a couple minutes here before our blinds are going to increase. I believe the next jump is going to be 15,000, 30,000 with a 4,000 ante. And with some of these short stacks, they're really going to get pressured into, into making some moves pretty quick here. The blinds are going to be right big. See, Chang, seven big blinds right now. Jason's getting short, yep. but um, Jason doesn't want to bust before Chang. That's a big jump. Um, almost a two thousand uh, dollar pay increase from seven to six. Uh, yeah, so question question from outside the booth if we're streaming the entire final table. Yes, the plan is to stream until we chop or until we have a winner. They want to know when they can start playing bad? I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, never. We're going to we're gonna run the stream until they're done. So if you want to play bad, we get to see it on camera. <laughs> So it looked like Azan just folded a suited ace, ace-7 suited there. Um, a lot of people behind him. So he's keeping it snug. Chang in the big blind with an ace. What do you think? Ryan raised. <laughs> Ryan raised on the hijack uh, to 45,000, and Chang's thinking about folding ace four here. Wow. Yep, he he does. does. He did it. He just wants to pick the perfect spot. That actually wasn't a horrible spot to flip with a short stack. Yeah. Um, but uh, there's a couple other short stacks, not quite as short as him. But, uh, you know, I mean, he you get easily, a big hand matchup, and he could move up a level or two. Yeah, I mean, he could easily be dominated there. Um, obviously. You'd rather be shoving than calling off. I know I don't take my own advice, but <laughs> I think that's a thing. It's better to be the aggressor than the call off with like ace four off. Yeah, even I know that. Because <laughs> Ryan, you know, we haven't seen him open like that ridiculously wide, so. <clears throat> All right, last hand at this level. The blinds on the next hand will be 15 and 30,000 with a 4,000 ante. At the end of this level, we will take a quick break, race off the black chips. So if you like the black chips, say goodbye to them. You know, have your little party with them for now. It's gonna be plaques, orange chips, and yellow chips after this. Black City. They're asking for a prediction from us in the chat room of who wins this. I don't even know if we can do <laughs> I don't that. even know. Yeah, that's hard to say. Guys, we don't even know. But uh, if I have to take my pick, I'd say it's me, that guy, right there. I'm pointing at him. Wow. So there you go. There's your answer, guys. That guy. I'm going to point out the guy next to him. Next to him? That guy? Right next to him? All right. No, that's, that's kind of a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rooting for Anthony, though. 
Rep just like a root, root for the short stack for the underdog? Well, he's not really that short anymore. No, like, yeah. He's played solid. Uh, he's made a little bit of a comeback. Honestly, I need to see the chip stacks again to make that prediction. Any second here, any second. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it's really anyone's game, though. It really All right, is. so predictions for Wa in the chat room. Predictions for Ryan in the chat room. Way to yeah. go, chat room. Yeah. The two chip leaders. Good guesses. <laughs> All right. I mean, that is uh, a good guess. I have a feeling I'm about to get blasted <laughs> yeah. in the chat room. Yeah. Don't no, make fun of the way chat to go, room. go, guys. <laughs> Pick the, the big stacks. <laughs> you guys probably bet the favorite in a horse race, too. Yeah. You not make money that way. Come on. <laughs> Can't make money. <laughs> It's really anyone's game. I mean, everyone's so competent. Um, Chang, Chang would really have to do some work, get, get some double ups. I mean, we really just might be here all night. <laughs> hey, I, I don't have anything to do, so <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready to go. I got good company. That's right. <laughs> Got some nice people in the chat and some not nice people. Just kidding. <laughs> Are there some not nice people in there? Let's kick them out. <laughs> they don't want to get banned. <laughs> Looks like Ryan uh, will pick up the blinds and Annie's there. Uh, it's pretty easy to scoop those up when you get the big stack. You don't have to have too much fear. Yeah, I mean... Ryan has uh, just been a dominant factor at this table the entire night. Been playing solid poker. Even yeah. when he messes around with a subpar hand, he hits it. He hits it big. And yeah. he's made some great uh, some great bets, some great bluffs. He's bought some pots. Uh, just, just picks up ace king. Yeah, and picks yeah. up ace king. Seen some better. really solid poker right from him. Right after he steals. Very impressive. Good timing. Isn't uh, that great when you steal and oh then you get gosh. a solid starting you know, hand right after that? That happened with uh, Chris not too long ago, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, timing is so important um, in these tournaments. <laughs> but also, what was I going to say? Ryan, I mean, he's, yeah, he's just... He's kind of um, like the silent crusher type, you know? It's true. It's almost like you forget that he's played a bunch of hands. Right. You know what I mean? But it's just it, me? It's almost like... He's uh, like so stealthy. No, you're onto something there. It's like he's kind of <laughs> invisible at the table. He's not yeah. really flashy. Yeah. He's not like talking a lot, but he's making solid plays. And, yeah, uh, just constantly like climbing up and... Definitely a force to be ready. Kind of unnoticed, yeah. yeah. yeah Crazy. Like play, look for your hands. Look at those chips. Where did man. he come from? Uh, do you know anything about him? He's one of the few players at the table that I am not really familiar with. Yeah, but yeah. we could go find out. We should ask him just like that. Where did you come from? <laughs> could have some fireworks here. Hmm. Oh yeah. Jason with his with like, Ace Jack again. With his anti uh, crush hand tonight. That hand has not been. Uh, Jacks have been working for him. Yeah. Ace Jack not so much. Exactly. No. He's like seriously again. Ace Jack <laughs> and I have to raise. <laughs> Sucks. That looks like uh, 55. I think so. So it's 75. And we don't have the best view on the chips. 75,000. Now Anthony has to call 75,000 if he wants to try and see a flop with pocket nines. I have a feeling he, he needs to come along here. He's got 495 in his stack. He can still call here, get a bad flop, and still be in pretty good shape. But he does Did he have to worry. Send it? Did he? He sent it. No. What a he beast. He did. What a beast. Wow. <laughs> so sick. Oh my god. Amazon has to just fold sevens. Jason must be feeling like he's getting picked on oh a little gosh. bit. Oh my gosh, every time he has yeah. his jack. Every time. Yeah. Wall was like, rags, 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 rags. Yes. Yes, rags. Gotta love it. Okay, so uh, let's just call the clock on Jason right now. <laughs> He's going to take a This is a bit of a tank. And, and, but not, 
quite like, as in a bad position as he was before right. when he had his jack against Ace King. At least here he's flipping. He's just slightly worse. Perfect. Right. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Still a big shove. And, uh, <laughs> Still a big shove, and it's his tournament life again. I like this shove because it, like it, it puts Jason to the test. I like it too, and you know he has to be thinking that that Jason's gonna, you know, open a little bit wide in that position. So. Predictions? Oh my gosh! <laughs> he's so sick of One holding time. his jack. I know that's what I'm thinking too. I think he's gonna call here. I think here. he's gonna call too. I think he's just gonna say. I wish we had little thought call. bubbles that could pop up over their heads so we could see what Especially they were thinking. Jason. <laughs> I wonder how many curse words just went through his mind. <laughs> it's like, it would just be like uh, like when they curse in the comics, there's just all those like symbols, you know. It's <laughs> point. <Switching point. laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> someone like Photoshop that in right now? <laughs> oh man. He's like hating this spot. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so Anthony's shipping. Let's see, five hundred thousand. Let, let's put a prop bet on this. It's Be only before he acts. Are you ready? Lines. Who? Who? I'll take Jason calls. You take he folds. Okay. And the loser buys the first round after we're done with the stream. Okay. okay? So I got he calls. All right. I'll take fold. Done. I'll take fold. All right. It's a bet. All right. All right. Let's see what. <laughs> All right, come on, Jason. We're drinking call. tonight, boys and girls. Let's see the flip. I want to see a call here. It's booked. We're drinking. <laughs> That's it. Drink bet. Jason calls. Drink Justin bet is wins. <laughs> I think Justin's gonna win, though. Uh oh. I'm gonna get my money Look out. I'm gonna get my money ready to buy drinks. Push it forward. He's pushing it forward. Okay, three seventy nine. Stacking them think up. About this? Uh, thinking. Blinds were. Blinds right now are. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen thirty four thousand. <clears throat> Clock. <laughs> so he only has uh, twelve big ones behind here. Yeah, I think he kind of has I to think call. That right? leans it towards a call. Good bet, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't called yet. That's true. He could still fold. What do you guys think? <laughs> he could. He could Let's still see. fold. Let's see. Anything in the chat room going with. here? Sickness. What's he counting? <laughs> he called. He called. <laughs> right? Yeah, he called. He's, oh. he's shipping. Drinks for Justin. All right, let's see. We got a classic well, coin on. flip. Hold on, hold on, dealer. Can we bet on who wins? <laughs> yeah, you call it. You call it. <laughs> Quick, go. <laughs> I'll take Jason. <laughs> All right. You guys see how terrible I am? Oh, no. I took the 38% hit. <laughs> So dumb. Let's it down to one card to go. Jason's tournament life on the line, and that's going to do it. Pocket nines hold up. And uh, Jason's going to be taking seventh place tonight. $6,612. You can't be too sad about that. Well, we know poker players, though. If they're not first, they feel like they're last. Oh, he's heated. Right? He's heated. He's heated. Right. We didn't get a speech? No speech. Listen. He's not there anymore. He left. Oh. I wanted the speech. Mm. All right, well, great playing by left. great playing by Jason, though. I mean, yeah. a huge field, a great showing, and uh, he's walking home with uh, sixty six hundred dollars. Can't be mad about that. No. Um, and Anthony uh, coming up now. He must have close to a million. And he was riding the short stack for quite some time. Yeah, one million and uh, second or third in chips now. Wow. What a run it up warrior right there. Oh, I, mean, uh, I think I'm gonna go great. watch some of those Jason Somerville videos after this. Oh yeah, yeah. you have to. Oh, I mean, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just watch and you learn. Um, man, Jason just got in some bad spots. Yeah. He always had his jack. It was like rough, rough. Good instincts. Um. Good job there. Yeah. By Anthony, he has not acted scared 
and uh, Definitely he not. has been rewarded for that. It's uh, worked out well for him. Wow, Anthony, good work. All right, lots of crappy hands up on the board there, and Shane not showing, that means probably pocket aces. <laughs> down to six players. I know. Wow. I'm down like 10 bucks. Everyone guaranteed uh, 8,500. Damn, it's getting serious now. Wow, it's getting real. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm over the head. That was great for uh, Jason. Feel for him. No, I thought pretty short, but my strategy was still out of my hand. So. All right. Oh, he's the one that knocked me out. I still feel. Oh, so you can't feel bad for him. He got what he deserved. See what I mean? I'm way too nice. Way too nice. I don't understand. <laughs> You hold down for uh, just a second. I'm yeah. going to see if we can get Jason in the booth right. here. Right. Let's uh, see if we can have a little chat with him. All right. uh, you come so, over this way and okay. we'll we'll slide a chair in. Give me just one second, see if he's interested. All right. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Try to get Jason in here. What up, guys? I'm all by myself. I can do whatever I want. What do you guys want me to do? Just kidding. You got that bad? What's going on now? Anthony has six high. Uh, wow, wow, wow. That's so sick. Nice, Anthony. Anthony gets away with that one. Um, he puts the pressure on Chang there, knowing that he's just been folding. Um, a lot of hands, and gets away with six high there. Chang had two three. It's pretty gross. It's pretty gross. Do we need to message delete it? Come on, guys, behave. Let's be mature. Let's be mature. Jumping jacks. I could probably do jump, jumping jacks. You guys are going to get me fired. It's okay, I haven't been hired, so... <laughs> Cute dork, I'll take it. Wow, does Wall really have aces again? Or is this like a replay? Oh my gosh. Wow. He's been getting a pretty sick run of cards, huh? Pretty sick. Wall has not aces yet, not again. Yet, not yet. Oh, Wall okay. has aces again? Yeah, I mean... Oh my god. Uh, he's putting together a pretty hefty... Wall over betting with bet him? here. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, now we're like locked in. Go ahead and, and go okay? to the left a little. I'm not sure if Jason's coming. I, try, okay. I tried to talk him into it. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh no, yes you are. We're locked. I tried to talk him into it. He said he'll think about it. He didn't really want to come in. He's very tilted right now. And so he's sitting there, he's going through, looking up stats on his phone. Uh, not incredibly the, the happy with the way he went out. I, I told him, so we, you played very good, you know, it's just yeah. poker, that's the way it is. He's gonna think about it, he might come over, flag us down, it would be great if we could get him in. Yeah, that'd if be not, awesome. uh, Jason, you, you played a great game. Yeah. All right, so we it's got Ace like Jack that, again, but... and Chang with that short stack, yeah. you really couldn't get away from that. That's so gross, that flop spells just, just doom for him. Chang that's just it. waits. He yeah. waits for his jack and just aces. So sorry, Chang. All right, so that looks like uh, Chang exiting in sixth place. $8,514. Yeah. Wow. Not bad. Um, if my memory serves me right, Chang made 8000 at the last final table Did he? Uh, I watched here. <laughs> Yeah, when he chopped three ways with um, Sean Drake and... Oh, okay. Last, well, Jace, Jason was part of the chop on the last uh, series here. There was a three-way chop with on Jason, 
Uh, we didn't have the stream yet. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. So it was Jason, Nick, and I don't remember who the other person was, but Jason is no stranger to Stone's final tables. Oh, yeah. And Chang, but Chang is... <laughs> Makes 8,000 like... Okay, so we got five go. players left. All of these guys much closer to that $44,000 first place. I'm working on it. Awesome. I'm working on it. All right, we got someone trying to get Jason in here. We'd love to have an exit interview with him. Wow. Uh, if we can make it happen. Yep. Come on, guys. Chat room. Root it up for him. Let's get Jason in here. Tell Jason to get in the booth. Pull some strings. Take one beer? Yes, Man, down to five, just like that. Um, those, like all the short stacks babbled for so long. But Law and Anthony were two of the shortest stacks coming in, and they're two of the biggest stacks now, yeah. so. It was a long road to uh, get down to five. It did. It took quite a while, but now it seems to be uh, picking up a little steam. Those that, yeah. Once the blinds increase and start putting pressure on them, uh, it does pick up a little bit. But now we got some very deep stacks. So uh, this is well, actually... just ships there um, with Ace King. Takes it down. 544,000. This is the part in poker tournaments that I really love when it gets down to four or five players. Oh, yeah. Now you're short, everyone opens their range oh, up. Yeah. You see a lot more hands. Yeah. Uh, this is just where the action really begins to happen. Not that there hasn't been sure, all the fun action. Games, yeah. <laughs> Don't leave. Stick around for the conclusion. <laughs> I kind of hope they play it down. <laughs> Oh, hey, so uh, five left. So five every, left. Everyone at this table right now is guaranteed eleven thousand uh, one hundred twenty-four dollars for their efforts. Why would you ever do that in the final? No, Ryan just, no, Ryan's in the big line with a ace three offsuit. Chris on the button. Really wanting to raise, but he's gonna fold. <laughs> right? <laughs> is that what that was? It looked like it, yeah. It was like, I wanna raise, but I fold. Is that here, all in? I didn't catch it. All in. Okay. And Ryan has an ace in the big one. Um, what's what's this on stack right now? 540. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's too healthy. Yeah. You can't call off the no. ace three. For a third of a stack, yeah, it's really not happening. Point. Good spot for Azan. <laughs> he said, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan said I had an ace in my hand, Azan said, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Azan had a real hand. Yeah, I mean, um, for tournament tournament poker players, like you're basically just signing up for a life of torture because <laughs> unless you win the tournament, you're upset, you know? It's true. Disappointed, not necessarily upset. Chris picking up a few uh, pretty good hands here. Wow, especially five handed. Ace Queen off so strong. <laughs> Little, I kind of feel like there. I've never really had an opportunity to watch Chris uh, play much. Like when he's playing here, I'm working, I'm watching the whole room, so just yeah. get little snapshots. But getting that chance to watch him play here, I feel like his game is really well rounded. Like not oh, yeah. just playing the cards and playing the map, mm. but his body language. Like it seems like he is good at giving, not tells, but the tells that he wants people to think that he's yeah. giving. Yeah. I've noticed that. Uh, he's good at shifting his body language to say, maybe he's strong when he's weak, maybe yeah. he's weak. What do you think? Like, yeah. you think he has no, that going on? I completely on? agree, and um, I really haven't played with him that much either. Uh, yesterday was the first time I got to play with him, and unfortunately I didn't get to play with him as long as I wanted to. <laughs> 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 yeah, I would agree, though, about the body language and stuff. He has just a you know great feel for the game. Get a very well-rounded game for sure. Yeah. Looks like ninety-five thousand in from Chris. We don't know what Ryan has, so uh, other than a ton of chips. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, you want to come in here? 
Okay, All right, just I'll slide the in. chair in. We'll make room for you. So Ryan defended there in the big, uh, in the small blind. All right, guys, we're gonna now make some room. We got uh, Jason McRoberts. That's J Mac, who went out in seventh place in the Stones, Stones Championship Series. Gonna join us in the booth here. Welcome, Jason. Congratulations. Thank you. Very enter entertaining final table here. Good job, Jason. <laughs> It was pretty awesome. We're, uh, we're watching Chris right now. He's made a, a bet with uh, Ace Queen against Ryan. Hits his ace. We don't know what Ryan has yet, though. Yeah, you know, his cards, are, his cards are on the reader. Yeah, they're not on the reader for this one. Well, they so are on there. They're just not reading right now. We get to have a, a little bit of a guess. Does the chip make it, not read it? Um, I'm not sure. Sometimes it's just technology just doesn't work the way that it's supposed to. <laughs> like that's right on there. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's it looks like. Uh, diagonal of the all right, Chris is gonna go. Well, we get a bet from Chris. Bet here. See if he can get called by a king. Now, not knowing what Ryan has, it's hard to say what's gonna happen here. But uh, Chris has a great hand. Ryan hasn't uh, really played his hand like he has Queen Jack or a three. So I have to think that this is going to pretty much wrap it up. Good call with an ace, um, but it's, you know, basically hoping to chop. Yeah, pretty small bet, huh? Well, one third? Well, for Ryan. For Ryan, it's a small bet. Chunk change. <laughs> it looks like an ace, the value bet, like one third size. It looks like he wants to get called. Mm -hmm. I don't think Ryan would call here with just a team too off tonight, but I think. I don't know if he's thinking this long. I don't think, it, I think he'd be. Yeah. He, he looks like, like he might be uh, gearing to might, look it up, he though. Might try to, he, I, think, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like maybe getting a little sticky with the king. Wants so to look him up. There was a couple times where you were taking a while to make some decisions here. We were having a little fun with it. I actually called a clock on you from the booth. Of course, that's, <laughs> they were 20 minutes behind. Uh, I think that we're due to call a clock on Ryan now. He hasn't taken a lot of long decisions, but. Man, this I mean, one he's really thinking. I mean, you had real decisions to make, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Kept, yeah, you. kept giving me ace jack, and everyone had, they had a better hand exactly. every time. Yeah. I've uh, never seen anyone have ace jack or pocket jacks more than you in a tournament. No, we don't know what Ryan called with, so. We don't. We never saw his cards, and he folded game. face down after he called. Yeah, a huge game. win for Chris. It makes sense, because you check called the call. It was a zero call. call, whatever it was. Yeah. So tell us on, on that last hand that you played, we were really curious. We were hoping there was like a thought bubble over your head or we could tell like, what was Jason thinking? Like, what was the thought process? Do I call here? Uh, is is this where I make my stand with Ace Jack? Uh, well, the blinds were 15 and 30,000 and uh, I opened for 70,000. It was a 4,000 ante, so he made it um, all in. He just uh -huh. shoved all in with players behind. But he asked me like, like how much I had. He wanted to see my stack. He had some hesitation. and. I didn't think, well, there's already 200, I had about 300,000 plus left, but there's already 200,000 in the pot, so I was getting a pretty good price. Yeah. I didn't think he had a super premium hand like aces or teams or queens, right. because that was my read. And so I thought even ace team, he might have a little bit faster, but uh, I, I was looking at him and he didn't look like super strong. I mean, he had looked like as similar as the hand when he had the, uh, a nine. Get jack nine, nine, ten, seven. I flop bottom pair. Yep, we remember bottom. that yeah. hand. Similar yeah. to that right there, but I, I, just, I, I just felt like I had the right price, so I had to go with it. I mean, you had a I, lot of pretty ideal. tough situations tonight. It wasn't like, very yeah. ideal, but every time with these jack. Yeah. yeah, pretty sick. Yeah, I mean, I got myself in a few spots. I, I wish I could, you know, but ten, seven was the point one mistake I probably would want. Mm -hmm. I have thought I was beat, but I. Yeah. Good price there, and I, That's what I yeah. figured. There were some straight was. draws like like Jack Ten that I could I was a little bit ahead of, but and like yeah. he, he might be like just have like a smaller pair inside to decide I have like a big ace try to shove. He, he's a pretty aggressive player, so yeah. I thought he was capable of that. He's but been I mean he had yeah. he had a ninety, he shifted, so obviously I mean I wasn't I think my my read was that like he wasn't super strong but at mm -hmm. the same time I thought he had a little something. So I, I almost pulled it back in and yeah. I could call him. Well, here he is going up so against Wa yeah. with pocket nines again, but Wa has uh, flopped a queen. 
Uh, Anthony put in a huge bet, well not a huge bet, but a decent size bet, 85,000. And uh, I wonder if Waugh can call here. Yeah, um, Waugh in C2 has a little bit of a bet size tell when he, like, like the other day he opened, like the big line was like 8,000, and he opened for like 28,000 with two kings. Whereas he was opening like maybe three times or like a little under three times with like an, like an ace. So with his strong hands, he's betting much bigger. Oh, a little bit more, a little bit more, yeah. So like I would say, like he opened for a, a raise, and I, I three bet jammed with like queen nine. What would you think the strategy is there? Like he's trying to make it look like a bluff and get action on it or something? Uh, I'm not. Sure. I mean, maybe trying to protect the uh, sand or something. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, like. I don't know. Really, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hard to say. I mean, but, um, I mean, uh, I think, I think, I think uh, seat one's playing really well. Yeah. What's Ryan, 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 yeah, yeah he's, he's been playing really super well. Solid. And, and I know, I know he, some he cards fought the straight against me earlier. I, I uh, three bet in with Team Jack, and he was a little stingy. Out of position, he called with. Uh, I'm not sure where he, he flopped the straight, so... Yeah, we remember yeah, that hand where he flopped the straight. Seven, 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 eight. 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 So he gets his eight yeah, copied yeah, on the right. turn he in flopped, that hand, though. He flopped the straight, yeah. He, yeah that pretty, eight on the turn, you're like, man. Yeah. I mean, but luckily you had King Jack with no real okay. draws, you know? It, yeah, like, once he called the flop, I was pretty much done with it. Like, yeah. if, if he would have checked at me on the turn, I wasn't going to really get it in, because I, 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 I felt like... I felt like, like, like he had a pretty good hand once I, I, I three bet the situation bet like uh -huh. I, 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 I'm not yeah. being a lot of, a lot of over pairs there. It's like actually that was the first one of the first times. My actually the uh, second time that I three bet him all tournament because I uh, three bet him earlier with the pocket eight. But before that I haven't even three bet him like the whole like like day before. Oh. I only three better like, like Punk yeah, Jackson, yeah. I just called his, his raise, and he triple barreled uh, three streets where he got the flop like 18,000, best turn. The flop was like 10.94. The flop was like 10.94, two spades, he bet like 18,000. Turns to team. He's out of position, he bets 38,000, I call. Rivers is seven, he bets 76,000, I, I paint called. He said he missed, so I think he missed the flush draw, and he just tripled out of position. So, we got that in right, against him, so, but yeah. Yeah, I was a little surprised that he, he called. But, you know. He wasn't going to do that again, he was, huh? He's deep, he's deep, so, oh, yeah. uh, he can call, he can call. Okay. So, this is actually the second series in a row that you've made the main event final table at Stone's Gambling Hall, so, I would have to say, you must be doing something right. Yeah, but I, don't know, I made some mistakes. So. Yeah, yeah, everybody makes mistakes. But, yeah. I mean, the ace jack, I felt like I had to go with. It's just one of those spots like I can't be putting in. You know, I mean, there was there was. Um, there was I think so chain was there. really short there. I saw. Yeah. And, like, I could have maybe leveled up another couple of two thousand, yeah. eight thousand, whatever the payout was. But I was thinking about that too. But yeah, you're playing you're for first, right? I'm you're playing for like, first. If I win that pot, I have eight hundred, nine hundred thousand. Right. And, I'm, like, and you're I'm, kind I'm, of okay I'm with really flipping there, spot. right? Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of. I mean, you're getting like two to one almost. Not yet, yeah, almost, not almost but I'm getting better than. I, I have like 44%, so with two H-Jack. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, that's I, right. I, I was not, saying, I, like, I'm not gonna money, like, the pods. I, I, I also wouldn't be surprised right if he has like, like Ace 9 or Ace 10 sometimes, because like, he mm. seems like me like opening it up and. Yeah. Especially if probably, that's in your probably mind. Probably not for 500 k that he shifts it. Like more often he has a hand like yeah. hand similar. Like he might have like like ace queen, same hand ace jack, and ace ten. So, I mean ace ten, he's smoother. Ace ten even. Yeah. Jason, do you do you run this good everywhere or just as stones? Well, I don't know if I ran so good today. <laughs> you made seventh place out of 336. And this this is the biggest thing when I talk to poker players that I I try to instill in them because I know every poker player feels like if they didn't get first place if they didn't do good. Well, I mean, but you got seventh place out of 336 I would have players. Been like, like top three, I mean, the rules to win, but I played to win, but I mean. Seventh, like I got sixth in the high roller here. He's been showing great plus to me with the yep. loaded me with the king jack knight, jack nine. And he just called the flop with king jack high and turned a, a straight draw. When I, I, I turned, and yeah. I turned a pair, and then river, I river the uh, second last straight, and I had the jack of spades. So he, he couldn't even have a flush draw from the flop. So he had to have completely like king jack to float. That's pretty brutal. Yeah, Drake was on jack fire in the high roller I though. In my hand. So that was the other. I got to sixth in that high roller. Everyone makes mistakes, though. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be happy with your performance. You just got yeah. in a lot of tough spots. <laughs> you were, always you were a little track. lucky against me, too. I mean, you went yeah. on, the, on the bubble, but you had pocket eights, I had ace queen, and yeah. you were know, short, and it was like, 
pretty like a, 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 uh, a spot just you know similar to the ATX exactly. Kind of, exactly. I was like unavoidable spot. It's like right before that pretty hand, right before that hand. I'm like, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. You know, everyone's kind of battling. You know, I'm just gonna wait it out. Be patient. <laughs> and then immediately I looked out two eights and I'm like, all right. Well, I can't wait forever. Where? I have nine big ones. <laughs> So Anthony has uh, Ace King. He's King here. Anthony's starting to pick up hands late in the game, which is really the best time, obviously. Wow. I mean, it's at 75. The big blind's still 30,000, right? Yeah, 15 yeah. and 30,000. We got about a half hour left in this uh, level. Exactly, uh, two and a half X. That's good bet sizing. Yeah. Like, you want you, you want action. You have King. You want you want someone with with a smaller race to pull. So if you're raising yeah. too big, there's kind of a mistake. Huh? I think so. But, yeah. Like this, especially, you know. I mean, and I, you know, Ryan's in here with a keen nine. It's a small race, so you know, Ryan's defending yeah. dominated here. So exactly. That's that good. Um. And he flops. Runs, <laughs> runs decent. I imagine now he has go to check from Ryan. Check call. Maybe it's a C bet here. Oh. Uh, Anthony uh, check back there. He checks back. Nice. Now he picks up. Wow. Not plus draw. Not plus so. draw. Pretty decent. Do you try to keep your um, raises pre flop pretty consistent? Usually, I mean, there, there's some times. I, I, there's some players who, if I know that, like they like call it like the fin, but they go they go their price them to like a min raise, but they won't call it a bigger raise. I might make it bigger. Yeah, about the player. Yeah. But usually, yeah, I just I just keep it pretty small because I raise a lot of hands and unless there's keep it, keep or something, it, uh, add something. I don't want to give away a lot of information. Like a lot of players, they make like a big raise for the big hand or. Maybe they make a big raise with a really weak hand. Yeah. So like you just you know you wanna get to pick keep up it that consistent. Pattern, you know. Yeah, Jason, keep guessing. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Val. I just said you gotta keep guessing. <laughs> I was gonna ask you. Uh, I mean, do you have any parting words or any poker wisdom to to give on us before you head out to win your next <laughs> poker tournament? I don't know. <laughs> I put you on the spot, huh? <laughs> I mean, you've got to win your flips. That's such so good yeah. advice. Oh my god. Win your flips. Wait, wait. We have I a list going here. I couldn't win mine against him. Win your fli flips. Was it call raises with position, <laughs> flop middle pair, snap ship, send it. <laughs> we got tons of poker knowledge and, working um, tonight. And hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Did, and win your flips, yeah. Did, so, uh, great wisdom here. Did it looked like, uh, oh. was there a bet and a raise there? Did Anthony? Yeah, that's what Anthony happened. Anthony's Anthony oh. starting to scoop some chips up here late Very in the game. Nice Anthony move just there. Went semi, semi bluffed it. Let's see yeah, if we can Ryan get a chip count there. up on the screen yeah, here. That was, that was, I think, that was a good semi bluff. Yeah, Anthony sensed some weakness there. And, um, he uh, checked back the flop though, yeah. so yeah. it's like his hand is kind of like he went over there. So he had like a set there, or I'm not sure if he's like, checking no, back. Like a, back here. Not, like a flush draw. Yeah, the turn was a, another over to the board. So that was, that's an interesting spot though. Yeah. He's getting raised there because like he, he checked back the flop, so it's either like like a really big hand mm -hmm. or maybe you know really or, big hand like, like pot bluff, controlling or, bluff, or you know yeah. it's, it's pretty unlikely that he has like top he's not checking back like top pair though there so yeah when he checks back it's kind of interesting on that card actually i, I don't know but that's a spot where i might be i might be like calling that race it's a little, it's a little, little fishy yeah. looks a little like ace king <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen Anthony do any like river um, raises or anything yeah. like that, so maybe that was what Ryan was thinking. Anthony's picking up some hands now. Yeah. Listen, now. And also, now that it's later in the game, I think he's opened up his range too, because we're seeing him get a lot more active, and he's he's stacking chips pot after pot. Yeah, he's, he's playing well, he's like, you know, he's, yeah. like, he's like shoving, shoving in his spots. It's hard to pick up a hand and call him to his shorter. Yeah, and exactly. He yeah, he, 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 he had a couple through. I wish I never wouldn't have doubled him up now. Up there, you know, because he he knocked me out. So oh, the, um, the uh, 10, ten seven, seven against me. Yeah. He knocked or, me out right. after I doubled him. So it's about to pull this. Check nine. Yeah. I won't be thinking about. Yeah. Because I, you know, I thought he was. He, I was beat by even super strong. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That seemed close. Yeah. Oh. It's a great pyramid you put on here, Justin, and thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Jason, and thanks for coming into the commentary man. booth. I want to thank the fans for watching and I appreciate yep. the support. Yeah. So. Awesome, Jason. Continue to play good and run good, good okay? Yeah, good right. work. Keep thanks for stopping man. in. Thanks, Valerie. Thanks, Justin. Good work. See ya. All right, let's spread back out here. Make a little room.
<laughs> Perfect. All right, that was Jason Meg Roberts, also known as J Mac, seventh place finisher in the Stones Championship Series. And we got five players left. Looks like we have a hand brewing right now. Wow, with one of my favorite hands, King Queen. I really, I really love King Queen. <laughs> I will take Chris's hand. Another bet? Another drink bet? Oh, damn. Oh, my God. I keep, I keep getting it in so You're going to owe me so many drinks. I keep getting it in so bad. <laughs> <laughs> J-Mac has plenty of fans in the chat room getting lots of love in there. Uh, just saw him walking around out there. Thought we'd get a chance to get him into the into the commentary booth. Yeah. Nice little uh, yeah. Stop nice. into the mind of Jason and what he's thinking at the table. Yeah. And did good. you get an apology? Did he apologize for taking you out? You know town? what? I'll accept that he said you. He said that I ran pretty bad against him. Yeah. I was in a bad spot. Okay. So I'll accept that. It's close. An it's close enough. Close enough. All right, there's your 10-9, uh, not doing so hot. Dang it, he's in a bad position. <laughs> this is so bad. Let's just bet it. Bet we out. Just, just hope he gets an 8, that's bet all. Out. Just looking for an 8 here. Bet out and then hit an 8. 45. When he calls. Um, I don't know if that's actually the flop. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Confused. There it is, yep. Queen seven six, nice. I like that lead, Chris, and we won. Oh, we won! Damn! Send it. All right. I bow to the battery <laughs> wisdom. I bow to it. <laughs> yeah, I like that lead though by Chris. Um, it worked. So it must have been a good play. It must have been, right? We're outcome oriented again. Yeah. Is that, how, <laughs> is that how poker works, guys? <laughs> So it was good. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Jason had some great insight. Yeah, um, he is a Definitely a thinking player. <laughs> Likes to think out loud too. Um, so you try to sit next to him at the table. Uh oh. What's going on? Come on, son. <laughs> what was that, Chris? Oh, it was a just like a, a it folded around and the small blind limp. So that was oh. the first time that happened. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. So, oh, Anthony uh, gets a nice a flop. flop. That's not? I thought they just uh, showed a different flop. There was a two. There was that eight. I think there was an eight and a two and something else. Maybe not. I might be wrong. Anyway, looks like. Uh, 55. Chris going to come along. What? I do not know what's going on right now. I don't know what's happening. So, um, <laughs> you guys just. Oh, there it is. 8642. Okay. So, 842 flop, two hearts. There it is. Six oh, turns. Nice turn. Wow. Chris with two pair. Wow, wow, wow. And Anthony picks up a jack high heart draw. Yeah. Interesting blind versus blind action here. Yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. This is the type of action that you see at these short tables. So Anthony um, checked in Chris Bet here, right? So Chris Bet 60,000. Um, Anthony just gonna call and hope for a good card. That's not, not, that. not the good card. That's no. not that. That's not what he was hoping for. However, that might kill the action because. Yeah, check, check, river. Yeah, I mean, Chris obviously can't bet that. Um, Should have just raised a free flop. Some pretty wet board there. Uh, yeah, they're heavy enough. I can't get. Like a tricky board. Anthony's like, he's drawing so live. Yeah, you're right. I blocked up there. So sick. Yeah, and then exactly. I have blush draws, so I Stuck in there. <laughs> How do you miss, Anthony? Wow, 
very solid um, final five here. I guess it was going to be regardless, but. So everyone's pretty much uh, even stacked, like a little bit above a million. And I th Zahn is the short stack with 479,000. Um, Zahn picks up pocket fours in the big line, so we'll see what happens before it gets to him. 65,000 in the pot uh, pre flop. Anthony gonna raise it up on the button with Queen Jack offsuit. Pretty standard five handed. So Chris has an ace in his small mind, gonna fold. What does he say? <laughs> I'm trying to listen I to it. I think he's talking to himself. <laughs> uh, it's on ships, right? Yeah. It's, um, Rough countdown. There it is. Yes. Can Anthony call here? Uh, it feels like a very good spot for Zahn. Um, yeah, I don't think he can find the call here. It's a little bit too much. You know? His stack is a million. Yeah, he just it's like call half up like half his stack, hoping to flip. Yeah. Anthony started off also with a quarter million. So they got short stacks are the ones that are really doing well. Yeah, crazy. Anthony. Yeah, Anthony and Law came in as the short stacks, the two short stacks. <laughs> right, I know it's crazy, huh? And it's just completely turned around, yeah, and now they're the they two just, biggest. They just shipped up. Hmm. Well, not the two biggest. I think Ryan's still. Uh, yeah. Ryan's still in the chip. Definitely league, right? up there. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, um, <laughs> yeah, well, I said aces like, like four times. More than, he had his, oh, more than ever someone was just complaining about not getting aces at the final table. Okay. Ryan picks him up again. Again? <laughs> He's had him a couple times, though. No, he had him that one time, for sure. I've honestly not had a hand, but that's not as long as they're bigger than me. Or four bad, I think. Oh, did he just, did he just get a lock in the big blind with aces? Did he? Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> it's pretty sick because it's like the first walk of the table, I think. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, man. <laughs> What's going on? Are you guys uh, enjoying the, this final table or what? I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some really good poker. Um, and we knew coming in that we were going to see some great play. Oh, yeah. And we just oh, yeah. we have a really solid lineup. Great players. Lots of chips. So we knew that they were going to have an opportunity to pick their spots. Great action. Yeah. It's been a very exciting final table. Next person out taking home a whopping eleven thousand one hundred twenty-four dollars. Pretty too shabby. sweet, pretty sweet. Not too shabby. So Chris raised uh, to sixty-five thousand. Cut off with ace nine suited. Uh, pretty standard now that we're five handed. We'll start seeing some more action with these types of hands. Yeah, and Wa has fives in the big blind. Oh, uh, Wa's calling. Wa's not scared of oh, ace call. nine. Um, yeah, I think he's going to call and try to call the set here. Looks like he might be stacking up really? on my ace. Oh, nice. Damn! Oh my gosh, what a beast. <laughs> I mean,. There we go. What a beast. What now? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, pretty hard for Chris to continue here. Tough call, How much right? did he make it? Uh, looks like it looks like over two hundred thousand. Such a huge. Dealers raise. counting down the bet right now. Hmm. 
huge race. One oh two? It's gotta be okay, more than that. So he put in a full race. stack of yellow. A full stack of yellow is two hundred. Oh yeah. No, oh, maybe it was only 102. Yeah, I mean, I think it definitely depends. It looked like a difference. lot more. It looked like a lot more. It did. Maybe it was part of... Or maybe you didn't put it, I don't know. Yeah. We're going to go with what it says on the screen and say it's 102. 37,000 okay. more to call for Chris. So, Although I think it might be a little more. I'm not sure. I don't think that's possible. Or is that a straight mid raise? Chris thinking about this, um, I mean, he has position, but walk could really hurt him, and yeah. he has ace nine. Well, they both have pretty I mean, sizable stacks suited, here. You know, but it's just wondering, you know, can, can walk really make a move here? Does he have a better ace? Does he really have a big pair? He's in really bad shape. But it's all suited. Hands. But it's suited. Yeah. Don't pull it. Hey, it's hey, suited. We asked him to show. Is he going to show? No, he already, he already got that. He, he said oh, five five. Him. Oh, yeah. Why? Well, yeah, he shows. He doesn't oh. care. I just didn't think you would do it that time. <laughs> you know? Well, I mean, he's, and Chris gets to see that he was only hands. slightly behind. Well, if you tell him that Law has 5-5, five five, he calls, obviously. <laughs> Maybe. Or ships. Maybe. I don't know if he actually knows it's 5-5. Five five. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, he just put him in the cage there. He's, uh, he can't. If Wall has any of the hands that he's representing, you know, Chris is in bad shape there. So, very good move by Wall. Yeah. <laughs> what a beast. He, uh, I feel like he's playing on Chris's good intuition there, making it look like he's trying to get some more value into the pot. Yeah. Had he come out with a much bigger race, he might have got a call. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Chris doesn't want to get trapped, you know? Just flop an ace and not be good. That's never fun. Yeah, we're down to these final five players, all just monsters, like, <laughs> just moving chips around the table. I am a, a run it up warrior. Yeah, which, which yeah. comment to respond in there? I don't even know. A lot of diversity in the chat room There's tonight. A... Trying to put it nicely here. <laughs> <laughs> the chat's just so ADD, it's hard to, hard to respond. <laughs> we got politics, we got basketball, we got some mild cursing. Mild cursing. Um, I did get complimented on being uh, nicely dressed, so. <laughs> Indeed. Who's Jungle Man Cates? They say I dress like Jungle Man Cates. Is that that's an insult, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, Dan Dan Cates, right? That's his name. Yeah. That's, uh, I don't know how Jungle Man dresses. I, mean, <laughs> I don't think he wears a tie. I think he wears like sweatpants. Doesn't oh. he? He's like an online player. I <laughs> wish I was in some sweatpants right now. <laughs> Uh, Poker Pro Eric is asking in the chat room who was tougher to play against yesterday, Sean Drake or Zahn? <laughs> they're both pretty tough, huh? Um, oh, you're asking me? Um, oh, there I am. Valerie oh, in well, all caps. For me, for sure, it was Zahn. Um, but that was just because the way we were positioned and um, Sean lost the hand pretty early um, and I started chipping up. So Azan and I were like dominating uh, like chip stacks at that table, and Azan was two to my left. So yeah, Azan and I kept battling, and um, yeah, I didn't hardly play any hands with Sean really. So you didn't really get the comparison. I mean, you were just I kinda, playing against Azan. Yeah, 
Yeah, Sean uh, kind of got handcuffed pretty early. Just had to wait for spots and double up. And, yeah. He, sur he survived a long time with a pretty short sack, so... Yeah. Ryan has raised it up here with Ace Four suited and Azan with King Queen suited. It's oh, yeah. got to look good to him, but it does little does he know he's, he's, wow. pretty, and, uh, he's pretty Azan's behind gonna send here. It here. Wow. What's Ryan do in this spot? That's a huge shipment from Azan there. Six hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollar all-in bet. About half of Ryan's stack. So Azan open here, Ryan three bet. Azan think so. four I bet think so. shoves. Yeah. yeah, that's I think yeah, that's all that you can do in that four, spot. you know, it's like a little too weak. Bad spot for Ryan. Um, yeah, nice shove, Azan. Very nice. <laughs> That was a huge pot for Zon. It brings them up basically to even with everyone. That's so crazy. Well, that's the thing now. The pots are so big, like, <laughs> yeah. every pot like can ship the, who the chip leader is. Yeah, once that three bet goes in, there's so much out there. Um, I mean, even if he's flipping, like, it's such a good spot for Zon to shove. Plus, he has some fold equity. You know, Ryan could just be messing around with a weak ace and fold like mm -hmm. he did. Um, and even if Ryan has like a medium pair, Zon's like, okay, let me flip for the chip lead, right? Yeah. I mean, really, it, it just one all in here and, and everyone's, you know, someone's gone each time. So. Yeah, it sucks for Ryan because he hasn't been like messing around three betting light. And then as soon as he does, yeah. Zon just he gets looked up. It. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Azan really being patient tonight, like picking his spots, yeah. um, you know, seeing, seeing him just kind of finding the perfect moments to get his chips in. Yeah, kind of like Anthony. <laughs> um, so here, Ryan has Ace-King, picks up Ace-King the very next hand, raises to 65,000. Wah with Ace-Queen of Clubs. Uh -oh. I don't see him just laying it down. Danger, Wah. <laughs> danger, danger. <laughs> Chris has a, a little suited ace, but I think he'll get away from it pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, I think so. Good call, good call. Yeah. <laughs> you want to bet? No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. I don't like to get no, my no, money no. in bad. Oh, uh, I do. I love, <laughs> love to get it in bad. <laughs> so, yeah, I would root for like 5-2. Yeah. <laughs> Let the sleeper come up and wipe everyone out. <laughs> Ever since um, Azan's massage ended, he's been chipping up. Mm, interesting. I told you the massages were lucky. It's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you chip up right after it. <laughs> Do you guys agree with the lucky massage situation? There, there's no need to ask them. I, it's, <laughs> it's a fact. A massage is always lucky. <laughs> find, find the grind. Ryan gets ace king every ten hands. Rigged, lol. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's rigged. It's gotta be. <laughs> Definitely rigged. Watch. Wow. Um, we are. Hold on. <laughs> what just happened? <clears throat> Be right back. Okay. <laughs> wow. So, wall mux ace queen suited face up. Wow! 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 <laughs> He does. He keeps waking up with hands. He wishes he had it last hand against Azan when Azan shoved. But he got it the next hand. Right. <clears throat> 
So did Wah uh, three bet that? And Ryan four bet shoved? Is that what happened? We got a little distracted. Jumping jacks again. <laughs> Guys, they can see me. They can still see me. Yeah, he really does get ace king a lot. And Wah gets ace ace a lot. And Ryan gets it kind of a lot. <laughs> you like that analysis? Science. <laughs> so Anthony raised it up with the ace, I mean eight, <laughs> not ace, eight, six suited on the cutoff and takes it down. Very nice. Anthony uh, definitely mixing it up, putting some pressure on. What I miss? Um, <laughs> did you see <laughs> so much? Uh, you saw no, maybe you didn't see Wall folded um, to Ryan's four bet shove. He folded Ace Queen suited face up. So. Okay, I, yeah, I was just looking as that Ace Queen wow. came out. Wow. Oh, Ryan with Kings. I just, Great. I just what? <laughs> Sometimes you just feel like you're destined to win a tournament. I think that's how Ryan should feel right now. There's aces and kings and ace game. <laughs> Five-handed. Easy game. <laughs> Folds around to the blinds, um, right? Yeah. Or does his on have cards still? Yeah, folds around on the blinds, Ryan with just two kings in the small blind. And Wall with seven deuce. That's all. <laughs> wow. Show again? Wall? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Ryan was definitely thinking that was a good spot because he just put that four bet shove on Wall, oh, okay. made him fold ace queen, so figures Maybe he might get some action. Right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, he's probably thinking that Wall might fight back, so. Very nice. Yeah, there was an overlay in this tournament. $33,000 bonus money going to the players here. Extra dough, wow. Free money, guys. Free money at Stones. Come and get it. Zon of Ace 10 suited. On the cutoff. Uh, a minute and a half. I would imagine he would be raising his hand. Sixty-five thousand. Basically, a min raise. Right. Yeah. Uh, but going up against six off. four four deuce, uh, I don't see him getting a lot of action yeah, here. This will so be much. over pretty quick. We may get uh, one more hand I mean, in after this. Ryan's got Whoa. six four suited though. Okay, it's suited. So, uh, I stand correct. Defense. <laughs> Defense. <laughs> I like it, Ryan. Okay. Ryan mixing it up. Hold on, he was fine. I like it. Okay, so Where's Wall's cards? I don't see any. Wall's got cards in front of him. They're not up on the action track. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, yeah. they just disappeared. So now back to Azan. 37% to win this hand. 6-4. Uh, no, flop. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a great flop if you were Jason and you had your pocket jacks that he has like every or third hand. <laughs> um, he does have the button, but Azan's going to lead right into him. Yeah, why not? We'll just take it down right now. <laughs> yeah. Ryan mixing it up a little though, coming in with a 6-4 suited. Yeah, I like it. We haven't really seen him uh, do anything like that, so. Looks so like this would definitely uh, be unexpected, you know, if he hit. Gonna be our last hand before we go to break, and uh, we will be <laughs> taking the black chips off of the table before we continue play. Ryan's gonna float here and see a turn. Uh, probably with the intention of taking it away from Azan on the We're turn. Maybe thinking Azan can't take too much pressure. Uh, that card is not going to entice us on the fold. No, <laughs> I don't think so either. <laughs> it's a very roundabout way of saying <laughs> it's going to continue. I guess he's not afraid of a jack. I mean, he's right? also not afraid to put his blacks in the pot either. Yeah. So that's nice to see. 
Put it's those plaques in action. Holding on to those plaques most of the night. He has been. Wow, he's gonna All take right. it down that bet. Nice double barrel. All right, we're on break. We're gonna step out of the booth for a couple of minutes right. while they color up the chips, and we'll be back with you shortly. Don't go anywhere. Still plenty of action here at this final table. We'll see you guys in just a few minutes. See you soon. All right, we are back. Hey guys. Looks like we just got a few seconds wrapping up uh, for the break here for the color up. Looks like we came back a little yeah. early. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you tell a joke we or something and entertain ambitious. us? <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> no jokes? Do you have any questions? <laughs> Don't forget guys, a couple of great events coming up March 25th, a day on the felt with Deej Poker, sponsored. Uh, we are doing over $2,000 in lucky seat drawings, double hold them oh in God. Omaha jackpots, oh over uh, $2,000 in high hands, and at noon our white chip bounty. There's something I actually forgot to say earlier about the white chip bounty. There is a bounty multiplier. What? Every bounty that you earn for $100 oh my later that night, you have a ticket. And if your seat is drawn in the lucky seat drawing, you get an additional $50 for each bounty up to 200 max. That's pretty sick. Whoa. So not only the $100 bounty, but another $50 bonus on top. Just get your seat drawn, you get 200 plus up to another 200 for all your bounties. Wow. Also the awesome. Hydra coming up, 100,000 guaranteed for a 200 buy-in. This one's gonna be awesome. Six starting flights, 12,000 in chips, a killer structure on it. We'll be posted on Limestone's Gambling Hall shortly. All right, and it looks like uh, we're four seconds away from starting and where is everybody, guys? Come back. <laughs> Come back and play. We want to. We want to talk about you and make fun of you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You're playing for like a lot of thousands of dollars. It is a lot of thousands of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so too everyone in the chat room, thank you for the support too, and uh, thank you for being so kind of Valor. She's done a great job. Uh, Thanks, guys. Right now, we're gonna take a vote in the chat room. Either Valerie gets the job or she doesn't. You guys decide. Oh my Go. gosh! I Help put me out, I guys. put it in their hands. Help us out. <laughs> it's like the clapometer. Clap guys. <laughs> No fair, you asked when no one was back. <laughs> well, the chat room's there. All right. All right, no votes yet. No love. What do we do if no one votes? Guys, give me some love. <laughs> vote, vote. All right, we got a yes. Vote me back We got a no. We got a yes. Don't vote Two, three, the four, it's five like yeses, That's six okay. yeses, it's, it's seven fine. yeses. One Val for president. Yes. Val for president. That's I mean, two high fives right there. Okay. <laughs> can't be worse than plus one. One of the alternatives, at least. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's overwhelming. You're higher. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm glad that they voted that because I didn't want to have to sound like Donald Trump saying you're fired. You know the way he says it. You're fired. You're fired. And I just walk away like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's our players coming back. Uh, I'm not sure why they're letting the clock run a little bit. Maybe they're talking about a chop. Maybe we have a five-way chop brewing here. It's a brewing. I mean, they're all like so evenly stacked and all would, would good you chop? Would you chop in this situation? Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> Are you influencing their action? What's going on here? No, the thing is, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things to consider, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, it's a lot of money. But the fact that they're all just so evenly stacked and <laughs> they're getting down to within, I don't know, what, 30 to 45 big blinds or something? Yeah. Um, all right. I don't know, it just becomes like way too much variance to just, you, you, you start feeling like you're flipping for, for 10K, 20K. Right. I mean, if you're fine with that, you know, more power to you, but it's usually a... Safe bet to um, do some kind of chopping. All right, so we got a handout. Chris with Ace King <laughs> <laughs> and G. Oh, that's looked like a quick one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the other consideration is how good the other players are, and they're uh, definitely you know no weak spots at this table really. Um, 
So, so it's just really about the cards, right? It's, no uh, it, could, it could go to anyone. Look at all those plaques Chris has. Damn, he yeah. really came wow, back. He, he was a roller he coaster work. ride tonight. He, he was, was up and down. Yeah. He was really short for a he while. Did. He never got, you know, never got shaken. You know, just stayed on the warpath. This time, this time, okay? I was going to say, as cool as the chop is, and these guys all, all would get a, a nice chunk, I do like to see these things played out, especially oh, yeah. especially with five really just monster players like this, yeah. you know? Yeah, it would be fun. Yeah. You know, it's nice to see one person with just all the chips. Like, <laughs> I know, just the mountain in front of them, and then you get that winner's picture with the cards, and the, yeah. the standard poker winner picture, yeah. right? I think in the future we got to get like those bricks of cash, you know, and dump them on the nice. table. Nice, yes, please, let's do that. <laughs> Can we just get gold bars? Ooh, I like that. Stackable. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I think you're onto something here. It's a good thing we're bringing you onto the team. And now now we have, can pay you for all your good I have ideas. really good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> that was my best one, though. Oh, that was it? I'm not supposed to say that. Never mind. Damn it. <laughs> one of the best. Is there getting some details? Yep, little details about shopping at Stones and what our rules are here. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it well. So late. Basically, it sounds like they proposed where they wanted to put some of the money, uh, leave some money in the prize pool, chop it, and then play for the remaining. At Stones, we don't allow that, uh, basically because it changes the way the tournament plays, and we like to protect the integrity of the tournament. So you either chop, you either chop it in the final table, like or, an even chop only. Or you could, you could do equity. You can, you can change it up, but taking money out of the prize pool, it ends the game. Gotcha. You, they can chop the money any way they want to do. It. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. They just can't they just chop a little and leave some. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So it sounds like with that information, they're having a quick discussion. Uh, but it looks like we've still got a hand going out here, so they must be uh, ready to play a few more. Yeah, kind of got to keep playing. Well, the hands are coming, so you might as well be there. She's like, I got a deal, got a deal. <laughs> Right, Ryan with uh, another fantastic hand. I Ship it, uh, send it. He, he, got, he got the best seat draw, for sure. Oh, yeah. I, can't find the hand. I mean, Ryan and Wah. There's, 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 they had some monster hands. Yep. A lot of premium hands. Yeah. Even five yeah. hands. Yeah. 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 That's why I did that. <laughs> what did you have when he showed up? Sorry? What did you have when he showed up? When I four bet yeah. yeah. I know that I would be so excited if I was here. Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna tell you. Fine, I'll just go watch it. <laughs> Here's Anthony ready to mix it up with Jack Eight suited. He's like, get it. He's like chop schmop. Yeah. <laughs> I want all the chips. <laughs> Praise. There's Azan. Thank you, Azan, for following the rules, stepping away from the table <laughs> to use your phone. We appreciate that. Good boy, Azan. <laughs> um, somebody flopped the set. Pretty sure. Nice. And it was Wah. Of course, who else would it be? Duh. Just tell them to give us the number and then we'll... And he's like, hold on, what's the number? Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of chop talk. I think this is probably, we're probably uh, getting pretty close to the end of the tournament here. Oh my gosh, this is interesting. They're not even really focused on this hand. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've kind of been in this position before where you're, kind of, you're working out a chop and then you're in a hand and it's... A weird hand, and you could potentially lose a bunch of chips, and that would change it. A little awkward. <laughs> Typically, we try to avoid uh, chop discussion with the hand in progress. We yeah. like them to play the hand out first, and then after that, that talk, makes chop. Sense. Sometimes yeah, it's hard to get the players here, the in that in that mindset. You know, they want to talk about it before they make the big call. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's exactly yeah, why we don't allow it. It's pretty funny. Right in the middle of this hand. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, Poker Pro Eric. Chopping is smart. <laughs> smart play to cut down on variants. Yeah, I mean, especially when you're so he's just asking if you're gonna change your mind. so evenly. Um, 24K. It's like even even stacks and good players. Five-handed. A lot of money on the line. With the pay jumps so big, yeah, I mean, to, to go out fifth and get 11,000, you know, versus 44,000. I think everyone gets about 20,000 at this point. That's pretty yeah, good Yeah, everyone's guaranteed third place money, basically, close to second place money. Hard to pass that up. He <laughs> mucks us up. <laughs> Whoa, you had bottom set! Don't do it! <laughs> Uh, that looks like it might be wrapping it up. Can we get a final tally here? What was the even chop? If they are chopping, I'm kind of curious what the number is, <laughs> I know, I know. especially for the viewers home with the stream. Loose, though, Although they probably have it already room. figured out, so. Hey, he didn't play the tournament. Why is he cashing out? Poker News 916. Divided if you by five. Uh, so it tray looks of money. like if they chopped it even, which is what I think happened here, twenty three thousand three hundred and eighty six dollars a piece. Not a bad payday. It was Not a very exciting bad. final table. It was great. Uh, a lot of fun to watch. A lot of fun to comment on, and uh, a lot of fun being in the booth with you, Valerie. Yeah. Thanks for being too, a part Justin. of this night, and uh, looking forward to many more. Thanks. Awesome. I hope so. Congratulations. Thanks for uh, You're watching, hired. guys. All right. And uh, everyone at home, you thank you guys. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, guys. See you guys later. Have a great night.